and we're live. Cool, cool. <clears throat> yeah, let me pop out chat so I can see what's going on. Let me get everything synced. Oh, that's right. We have to. That's right. We have to let everybody know that we're live. Yep. Got distracted for like three seconds. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> welcome everyone welcome we're just letting uh just letting give us ourselves a little bit of time for letting one trickle in welcome everyone yeah, everyone <laughs> we'll be starting shortly in about like 10 minutes so go ahead and get your supplies ready whatever you want to uh whatever medium or project you're working on doesn't have to be the same thing uh definitely we encourage everybody to start basically start a you know whatever project you've been you've been meaning to start one of these is to create a uh, creative atmosphere for everybody to sort of feel safe and uh feel a uh, let themselves be creative yeah be more you exactly we're here to encourage your creativity oh look Ac uh acro's back welcome cool. back welcome welcome Excited, Justin? Yes, I am so excited. It's gonna be really fun. Looking... Yes, I've been looking forward to this all week. It's gonna be really cool. We're gonna just hope Photoshop doesn't fail me. Yeah. So this whole entire session uh, is just gonna be ideation. We're gonna break this into three parts. We're gonna dedicate this whole instead of kind of doing a more condensed version like we usually do in our streams. We're gonna really take our time with this. So. I'm actually going to start doing, you know, when I when we get to drawing, I'm actually going to be going through the more full body experience when I kind of do my visual development. And before silhouettes, really, silhouettes is like a rapid way for me to do this. But if I'm really thinking about design, I'm actually going to go into rough ideation sketches before even going to silhouette. Which means I'm just going to kind of draw and just kind of float around and kind of sketch out. And then when I finally get some that I like, then I'm going to take that version and start expanding it, you know? It'd be really interesting to see more of a um, an in-depth look at your process, you know, versus usually when we do these, uh, normally if you if any of you are joining in with us for the first time, uh, we RJ and I give ourselves this limited amount of time to be able to do a sketch or um, sketch uh, in either, you know, Photoshop or ZBrush. They're both technically sketches. Um, but, uh, we just kind of go for it. We just Rambo it, you know, it's not a, um, uh, oh, it's, it's not sure if it's a volume balance thing, but I think you both may be a tad, tad quiet. Oh, are we a little quiet, RJ? We're a little quiet? Okay, let me see. How's that? Are we a little better? Is that better? It said a little bit. That's what they uh, black eyed acro on the um, in the chats. Yeah, if there's anything that seems a little bit off, please let us know so that we could uh, we how, could fix it. How's my uh, how's my volume? Uh, I'm listening through my. Uh, I just checked the volume through my um, the Twitch stream that I had open, and it seems it seems fine now. It seems pretty good. Okay. Yeah, I bumped up the volume. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me get this. I'm just getting some last minute references before we start. Mm -hmm. 
And man, the Ultima Source looks terrifying. I'm excited for this. I'm like trying to test out these brushes before I start too, because this is like this is not what I'm used to at all. So everybody, if you guys don't know this, I don't use Photoshop a lot because, um, well, you have to pay for Photoshop, <laughs> all these different things. So it's they can be, they're usually kind of a uh, expensive to be able to stack on, you know, with each subscription, you know, ZBrush, Photoshop, Illustrator, and stuff like that. So I've been using like Procreate on my iPad. So you're kind of gonna be seeing me experiment with this for the first time. So it should be kind of fun too. You know, it should be a a little bit of a noob at this, and that's that's exciting. I don't know. I love it. I love it's gonna it. It's going to be fun. Just have fun with it. the chaos. Exactly. Yeah. It is the chaos effect, after all. And yes, Acro, there are not a lot of references, you know, of the source. So actually, let me, before I even start, I'm going to put the one that I do have. This is a, this is a prototype that I found. There it is. Very tiny. Let me just... So this is just the one, like, Ultima Source reference that I have. The rest are other references. I have some... Tyrannosaur anatomy, I have some Deinonychus anatomy, I have a Triceratops, I have an Ankylosaur. Yeah, so I just kind of want to get a good little sampling of everything that I'm going to need. <laughs> guitar, raw, a raw guitar. Yeah, Ch channel that in our 2005. Okay, <laughs> do you remember those days, RJ? I do, oh, throw I do. Them away. I do. Embrace them, embrace them. Okay. Did you have the bangs? I did not actually. I actually had spiky hair. Really? I had the bangs. I had the whole emo thing. Oh, W oh Rex is here. Goodness. Hey, welcome. Oh, welcome, back. welcome, welcome. Okay, so you want to get into it, buddy? Yeah, let's go ahead and start. Let's go ahead and uh, channel our inner chaos effect, our inner craziness. Yes. All right, folks, we're about to get into it. So. This is just going to be the whole session, you know. Uh, we're going to be doing ideation. So we're probably going to go to, like, what? Do you want to go to, like, 9 o'clock? Like, 9, 10? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah, let's go for it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this in this three-hour period, we are just going to be doing ideation sketches during this, like, a proper visual development session. So we're elongating and accentuating what actually, well, actually it's more true to actually what would be happening. When you see us through our streams, it's usually more of a condensed version of what we would actually do. Um, so right now, uh, we're just going to be pretty much roughing out ideas for this thing to even look and then coalescing and combining our favorite takes into the ultimate version. Funny play on words there. Aha, uh -huh. pun intended. I know. Love it. Pun intended. And then the next session will be primarily modeling. Yes. And well, we're, we're planning this out as we go because it was originally going to be like a, um, a two week one, uh, session, but then we were like, let's go three weeks because we really want to be able to cover a lot of things. Yeah. Um, so it's uh, just, just stick with us on this. We're planning as we go, but it's, it should be a fun time. It should be a fun time. Nice. Okay. So with that being said, we're going to get started and I'm going to start and Justin's going to start. We're going to be taking our takes on the Ultima Saurus. And then by the end, we're going to start combining our favorites. So let's at least by the midway point, maybe like, you know, two hours in or, you know, two hour, three, you know, 30, we'll do a check to see where we're at and we can start deciding on which ones we're going to, you know, pretty much bring before the council. And then from those two, we'll filter down to our top two, which will be combined into one, you know? Yeah. Oh, so we're making, okay, so th this is where you're going to be able to see the kind of interesting aspect of how both of us individually start a project. So as RJ usually does, like, he'll do multiple renders and kind of stack them together into sort of, like, one cohesive, like, beautiful creation. I will tend to just make w one big massive sketch, and I kind of just start to whittle away at it and shape it until it becomes one singular sketch, sort of. So I don't nice. really, really do render. So it's going, to be, it's going to be kind of interesting to be able to see both of our methods, you know? Yes, and I'm not going to get into render. I'm just going to do some basic sketches this whole session. Okay. Yeah, this, this is good. This is good. We're going to be more relaxed, a little bit more relaxing on this one. Okay, are you ready? Let's do it. All right, I'm going to start now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's get this supremely angry boy. The angriest. The angriest of the boys. I know. This is so. Okay. <laughs>
So what kind of feelings do you, like, what kind of direction do you feel like you want to take yours? Uh, I sort of, I like the idea of a, um, of a genetic test. So something that was kind of like, I wouldn't say something that was kind of born. I mean, I guess technically born out of chaos, but I, I like the route where it was like, it was originally just a test to understand like DNA compatibility. Mm -hmm. And so that's kind of, you know, it's, and, uh, it just kind of became a, it was just kind of simply a byproduct of, uh, of, uh, kind of just kind of the, the negligence when really thinking about the outcome of the the animal and just more about they you know the, whoever created it saw it more as a as a quantitative thing you know yeah. something to just kind of be like that so that that's where i'm kind of going with what about you what are you, what are you thinking well like i think we're in the of the same mind like you know i was thinking like this thing was engineered to be you know terrifying like this was if i imagine this was a canon event in the Jurassic Park universe this would be like the prototype Indominus kind of, you know, Rex kind of thing. Like they were thinking about doing something like this as early as like the late 90s, you know? Yeah. And it was something that was so powerful or something that was so, you know, unpredictable. It was like its whole, I imagine that they like, it was a kind of thing. It's like burn it, burn all information, you know? Yeah. That's an, ooh, okay. Okay. I hear you. And like there was only one specimen that ever, you know, was made. It wreaked havoc, it destroyed a lot of things, but died, like, maybe due to cardiac arrest, you know. Mm -hmm. It's just something that was so, it's like its metabolism was too much, you know? Yeah, it's, it's too much, yeah, I mean, and that would make sense, especially if it's something that's supposed to be, a, it's just kind of experimental, you know. You know, and also I, I think I've seen a lot of concept art regarding the, um, you know, a lot of fan art. Yeah, no, because there's, there's no concept art, but a lot of fan art regarding the uh, the Ultimasaurus, and a lot of it kind of portrayed as like this big lumbering, this big lumbering monster, you know, the size of a T Rex, and um, it's kind of interesting because it it really is all up interpretation. I I'm gonna try to go not lumbering dinosaur, but something that was kind of something slim mm. you know it's funny we kind of are going in the same direction yeah because we want that agility right are we, we like we like a we like a, a fast... agility streamlined kind of yes yes but i also want to but diversify myself to. and maybe try to do something a little more robust so i'm going to go through a couple variants to see what's up you know oh yeah definitely well, i'm guess, excited yeah this like is... <laughs> that's the best part of this we're just kind of having fun with it Everyone, we were so excited to start this. We were talking about it like for the past. Like, we were talking about it beyond, from the very beginning of like the of the when we started these streams. We were yes. Just, wow, we're so excited for it. The Ultimasaurus is the ultimate predator. I'm also gonna go lean into some like super Greg Paul kind of esque anatomy. Greg Paul, as in, you have to explain a lot of these to me because, like I said, I'm bad at the names. No, 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 no. Yeah. Gregory S. Paul, like, you know, dinosaur renaissance artist, the famous running Ooh, pose yes. guy. Oh, like with the Deinonychus type Yeah, of... well, that's Bacher, but, like, I'm talking, Paul's oh. in the same kind of, same kind of lane. Mm, okay, gotcha, gotcha. No, here, I got, ooh, okay. What's, a, what's the lock icon? Oh, that one's it. Okay, I'm just I want to make sure I don't make any mistakes. Well, not mistakes, but nothing that's lethal. Yes. Yep. Greg Lumpet Paul. He likes to lump his species together. <laughs> I do commend uh, his anatomicals for the time. They were very cool. Okay, hold on. We're we getting something. You know, it's funny. My guy's kind of come coming out like a. Mm, that's interesting. Actually, there's a lot of cool things happening here. I'm just kind of going with it. 
Mm. Just a quick question, everybody. Uh, uh, you all can see our streams, right? Just want to make sure. Because I'll check into the Discord every now and then. I mean, onto, like, the Twitch link every now and then, and, like, show me a gray box. I just want to make sure that everybody can see. Okay. Yes. Yes. Cool, cool, cool. Nice. Okay, great, 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 great. Cool. We're being, awesome. Cool. We're being seen. We're being seen. <laughs> you know, I'm going to kind of add more of a reduced frill, but like, still keep it there. Uh, I kind of like it more like an early, like, Udanoceratops or like um, Leproceratops, where it kind of careens into the neck more. Yeah. You know? Gotcha. I'm, I'm, gonna do, I'm doing the opposite. I'm doing like a, like the, I'm doing like a, I don't know I love frills, dude. Like especially from like the the Queen Alien, the Alien. Uh, Ooh, nice. The Xenomorph. Let me see what you got. I love that stuff. Oh, I have nothing yet. I just I'm trying to get a body shape first. Don't judge me. <laughs> I'm not judging you. I can never judge you, sir. <laughs> don't judge me. Oh yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> you know, he's kind of got like. Very dexterous hands. Mm -hmm. What maybe makes Ultima Source so terrifying is maybe you could use tools. Oh my gosh, little 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 smart ski. He's a little smart ski. Yeah, you know, I kind of think that'd be kind of a cool. Maybe with the lore of mine, like, yeah, it looks like this thing, you know, that's like terrifying, but it's also got the brains to back it. That is terrifying. Thing more like there we go powerful neck body this more this is so much fun because this is just chaos for me right now oh arthur good to see you buddy oh welcome welcome sorry i didn't realize i got mixed up with not that it was w rex okay cool okay that's one ideation sketch Save this. Today's the seventh, right? Is it? Yes, I, mean, it is. I mean, yes. yes. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry, guys. It gets to the point where I don't even know what day it is anymore. Just, just one of those days. If you like that. Oh, okay, yeah. Welcome back, Arthur. Uh, so we are in the season finale for the Chaos Effect line series. So we are doing the Ultimasaurus, this, this angry gent here. It's supposed to be the Ultimate Chimera, which never it never got an official release as a toy, right? Uh, no, it did not. Yeah. So right now we're doing uh, just, we broke this finale into three, uh, it's going to be three streams worth of sessions. Uh, the first one is just going to be ideation. We're just going to be doing primarily ideation this whole stream. Just trying to get a sense of what this thing's gonna look like. We're treating this like proper visual development. And I'm gonna do this something like this. I'm gonna, you know. Ooh, ooh, you know? Yeah. Maybe this one, you know. Chest right here, go into body. Maybe. And we just want to keep it loose, keep it very loose.
I like to think that this guy's body was like unnecessarily compact. He's like a very truncated body. Yeah, like you know, like he like he was supposed to be like it's like that Triceratops and Kylosaurus type of look. Like he was mm. supposed to be kind of kind of backfired a little bit, you know. I feel that. That's kind of cool. That's really cool. See what you got. Oh, that's looking good. It's a mess. Just trust the process. Hey, hey, that's all you can. Hey, that's a great thing though. Like whenever you're drawing, it's always good to trust the process. There's always gonna be an ugly phase. Like even with my work, it looks hideous most of the times before it actually looks like something. You know? Are you kidding me? Your stuff looks amazing. Oh, regardless. thank, thank my you, thank you. guys, my guys also wait for a glow up. His glow up is still <laughs> in progress. No, see, the glow up comes to those who wait. You know. I'm still waiting for my glow up. When's it gonna happen, RJ? You glow, you, you know, you glow up in my eyes. Oh, that's so kind of you. But I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's get this. Let's get these. Let's get this movable feast underway. Oh my God! There, there it is. <laughs> there's a there's a Jurassic Park quote we were waiting for. And, uh, yes, we always have. We always have our uh, Q, uh Things have to happen up in there. Cue the theme song. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my gosh! I remember when they did that in like Jurassic World when Blue started running in. Yeah. I was like, "Yes, it's the Lost World." Theme. It's the Lost World theme. <gasps> like, this is amazing. You have it like this big ceratopsian like anchor to the neck. Mm-hmm. I wanna see. I wanna see. I wanna see. I wanna see. Like this is I'm on version two. Ooh. Maybe. And I'll have like a raptor kind of a dew claw kind of up here. But maybe more like a ceratopsian in the feet. And then maybe some more back spikes going up this way. I do like this kind of like heavier leg, but mm, no, it needs this body more like that. There we go.
Oh, sorry. I just barely saw Arthur's message. Thank you. You're very kind. We try. We definitely try. <laughs> okay. That that looks kind of cool. Let me. Like I said, right now it's just kind of about the feelings that we're trying to or going for. Okay. Okay, there you go. Oh, okay, there you go. That's helping me out. I, I did dig this guy, like I this little sketch right here, but you know, we're still trying to figure things out. Oh, you're going more Ceratopsian in the face. Yeah, I'm trying to... Trying to ch channel... My inner, I don't know. Well, just keep your fingers crossed. Like I said, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> no, just keep going. Just have fun with it. try with the head just kind of figure some things out for the raptor head I like the idea of the ultimate source though being intelligent like really intelligent I'm design Arthur says, I'm designing this weird creature. It looks like a dino mixed with a werewolf, but also thrown some like dragon and say, go for it. Why not? Yeah, go for it. The key is though, m my challenge to you is to make it look cohesive. I, you know, a great creature design, especially when you're doing like that as a fully incorporated creature. I shouldn't be able to tell where the snake, the werewolf and the dino uh, and the dragon begin. Um, and not saying that is like a definite thing, but it's something to think about, you know, you can definitely do it if you want. Yeah. But I think of what's always kind of like a great thing to kind of spice up to really, you know, try to make the creature feel incorporated, you know? Spice up your life. Yes. But, you know, it's at your purview. Whatever you feel like you want to do. But that's cool. I definitely try not to swear while I'm working on this because it'll happen. <laughs> No, actually, a good reference for these guys is like the juveniles of each one. Oh yeah, the little the, the night the purple night vision ones or night stalker ones or whatever they were called, something like that. Well, no, I mean like as in the actual groups of animals that we're referencing. So like the the uh, juvenile tyrannosaur, like has some oh, different, okay. has different anatomy, it has a more leggy anatomy. I'm looking for compared to well, they're both leggy, but like I like the idea that you know the ultimosaurus is maybe like. You know, it's kind of neot it has neoteny, which means it retains some more infant traits. Oh, that's interesting and dark. Well, that think of like this. It's like um, you know, the dodo, right? The dead one. The, the dodo, dodo. The bird. Oh, uh, oh yeah. Sorry, yeah, sorry, yeah. Yeah, the dodo. The dodo looks like a baby pigeon. Like the adult dodo has the same traits as like a baby pigeon. I've never really noticed that, but I guess now that you kind of, yeah, you're right, because you're right. It's, yeah, they have neotenic traits, meaning that it was advantageous for them to re to retain juvenile features into adulthood, like an axolotl. 
axolotls are so they're so cute. I love them so Don't much. Don't they eat each other? I think they do. They're cute in Minecraft. They are super adorbs. I'm also gonna make my mouse malnourished. Like it was just for the experiment and compatibility, so like it wasn't fed. Oh. So this also goes to the uh, thing we're also making this guy a character. You know, it's not only a creature. Oh yeah, a... that's part of the topic today of, of kind of world building. So you're gonna kind of hear us a lot of us making up a uh, kind of stories for our Ultimasaurus. You know. Yeah. So that's a part of it. So this is not just kind of creature. A good creature design is also good character design. We're trying to build a story and mythos behind. What we're doing, you know, having a logic behind it too, you know? Yes. For example, you know, what would you say, you know, you're, you're right at this moment, where's your kind of, your design choices leading your Ultima Sora to be, what's the story you kind of have in your mind? Something that would be on the SPCA in the arms of an angel. Something abused. Yeah. So like an abused hybrid. Yeah. You know, it was never going to be on display for the public, so why not just, uh, you know, it's it's the test, it's the ugly, the ugly one. What about you? Paint us the story, RJ. I feel like this was a, ultimately a test too, but the difference is, actually, is I think mine escaped. Ooh, okay. And hides out on the island that's intelligent. Ooh, I like it comes to like a cryptid i'm gonna have keep talking it comes like like a, a cryptid yeah dude scary it's like you imagine in jurassic park like if it was like oh yeah it's like we saw some movement on the perimeter like at the north gate but like sensors weren't even there you know we looked on the camera and we didn't even see, we saw what looked like a triceratops but we had no mm. triceratops in that region we just saw the horns and you know the frill So a lot of this also is not going to be full. Like I'm just trying to figure things out. So I'm also going to be working in parts. I'm just trying to figure out what parts of the anatomy are going to look like. For example, let's see what the arm's going to look like. Potentially. Yeah, so I imagine my Ultimasaur is kind of a cryptid on the island. That's terrifying. You know, I try. <laughs> it has these low booming calls that sound like cackles. Ooh. Like kind of a, like almost a person laughing. Reminds me of that Justin Bieber impression when he mocks that one reporter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. I hate myself. Throw me away. Uh, you know, but, uh, I can't throw you away. Does anybody... Uh, if you have, leave a, a yes in the comments. <laughs> to what? I was asking if anybody's seen that video when oh, Justin Bieber the mocks that one reporter. The, the meme. And he's like, that's a mocker by accident, but he's like... He's like, I like that laugh. Yeah, and the way he does it is like makes it sound like it's even just worse. Like, I, like literally just mocking you. It, yeah, it was so bad. I was like, there's no compliment about it. There is okay. no, there is no compliment about this. He, he was just being a jerk because he was a kid. Yeah, I'm pretty sure of it. You're right. You're pretty. You're pretty right. So I don't want to do that. <laughs> Arthur, Arthur knows. Arthur's cool. Yes, yes. Oh my gosh, it's terrible. 
and great at the same time. Of course, you would know that, bro. <laughs> the memes. So, like the, the Ultimosaurus has these long like fingers. They're almost like Therizinosaur or like man or like Mega Raptor and kind of size fingers. Yeah, they're very yeah. They're they're something all right. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this is just. Never mind. I probably should have done the three by three warp. I keep forgetting how many finger bones like a dino a raptor hand has. Justin, how many finger bones does a raptor have? Like how many phalanges? I don't know. I know I I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. I just I can't tell it's not always something I can think of like uh off the top of my head. Um uh dang it. Um I'm trying to know because I know there's like a formula. You know, know what I mean? Like we make up these formulas. I know. Well, let me try and see if I count. I'm kind of, you know, I'm tempted if I want to add a third, a fourth finger that was like underdeveloped, kind of like a Dilophosaurus. That would be kind of cool. Okay, you know what? Uh, I'll just go with something like this. No, it's it's three. They're just really long. And then it's long. It's, just... it's three and like it's three in the middle two, and then like like a th our thumb is just two on the on the shortest one. Mm, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, so it would look something more like this. So it'd be like this one at this length. And then this one would be this one too. Weird finger lengths I get. Uh, Epidic. Uh, oh my god, that's, I'm so sorry. It's always I always have trouble pronouncing it. Epidexipteryx uh, vibes from it. Forgive me, I mispronounced that. Don't kill me. Epi. Epidex. Epidexteryx. Ep I, but I know what I know which one you're talking about though. It's like Epidix, Epidix Yeah, I know which one they're talking about though. They're talking about like one of the scan score reopterates. That took a lot of effort to even just say for me. <laughs> Paleontologists, I love you, but please make your animal names a little easier to say. I try. That's why they do it on purpose, so that mm. nobody else can. Uh, they can be like, "Yeah, that one's mine." Oh, come on, man! I just, I'm just trying to say it. <sighs> Actually, I'm gonna have it have like this. Yeah. Okay, so I'm getting some ideas for the hand. This is not bad, actually. Kind of like this kind of ligament right here. It's like it's kind of like a rap ma raptor in wing membrane. Oh, I want to see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, clicked on the wrong thing. Clicked on the wrong thing again. Wow, Justin. Oh, it's down here. Oh my gosh. Save me. Oh, okay. I see it. I like it. Okay, okay. I imagine like going in would be like a bunch of quill knobs, yes. I'm also kind of inspired by like baby chickens. Baby chickens? Yeah, like you ever seen them with like their when they they're barely starting to get their like feathers in? They have a specific fe um the patterns on their bodies. They got these quill barb like you know, feathers. I, I just think of how ugly they are. I think they're cute, but I I understand. I understand. They, they they have a bit of they have a bit of ugly to them, just a little bit. This is true. I'm not gonna say they're not. They 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 do. Yours is looking cool. Thank you. I love yours. Yours are looking so agile. But I need to go heavy, so I'm gonna try heavy now. Cause I. What do you mean? I want to make mine more bulky. What I'm gonna do a bulky one. Ooh. Gotcha, gotcha. 
So I want, you know, though I do like a good quick boy that can do a nice thick muscular, well, they're all muscular, but a thick fellow. We're talking about dinosaurs, by the way, guys. This is true. <laughs> want to specify. <laughs> let, me, let me get my most big, bulky one. Ooh, that's kind of terrifying. Let's go with that. You know what? Maybe this one is more triceratops in feel. Let's size down the head a bit. Like it could go, it can run bipedally or it can walk bipedally. It can walk quadrupedally, but it runs bipedally. Oh, Arthur says, Lowell, should I send my work in the server? I'd like some feedback on this guy. I'm struggling with the shapes. Yes. Yes. Where, 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 where to, uh, uh, share your art under Jurassic Creations in the Jurassic Creations uh, category. There is a little, um, another uh, channel that says share your art. Definitely share it underneath there. Definitely. We are happy to help. That, would, that is we are so happy yeah we just also want to see like this is this is fantastic yes i'm gonna open this guy's mouth and i'm gonna give him nice uh ch cheeks uh like not double cheeked up but like cheeks on his uh his mm. head guys <laughs> Oh, that's looking ferocious. Give him a... Thank you. We're trying here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start. So that we, I usually do this really, really weird thing, guys. But then I'll like, I'll do like a messy sketch, like the messiest sketch I can do, and I turn down the opacity super low, and I will literally go over the same thing, that's... and I just kind of start whittling away at it. Yeah, exactly. That's exact. Very similar to my process. Yes. It's like basically it's the equivalent of like getting clay for me. Um, and you're just giving it like a really, really rough shape. And then you start taking your tools to it. And, um, you know, and you start bringing it, you start taking out the excess material, which you do not need. Yeah. Fantastic. Ooh, I like it. I like it. I like it. It's so interesting. Yeah. I love the um my of the uh, the art that they shared in the uh the Arthur shared in the, under the uh, oh let me share see, let your see. art. Mm -hmm. Oh um, Acro says, does the server have an invite? Be interested in maybe sharing some sketches during the stream. Uh yes, you know, let me drop it in there. So it's still a work in progress. Uh, so there's a. Lot we haven't like fully pull, uh, fully put under like the rules and things like that. So just try to keep it clean, be a little bit respectful. I'll be sort of just uh, um, we sort of get everything together. But yes. uh, let me drop the link in the chat. Yes, practice good netiquette, people. But yes, and here it is. There you go. Hopefully, this will send you to the Jurassic Core uh, chat or chat Discord. Yeah. That's what I meant to say. This one definitely feels more ankylosaur and like triceratops.
Where are my soft brushes at? There you go. Let me see. Let me check real quick. You talking about the emoji in the chat, the chat, the little robot man? Let's see. Sure, you are. Oh, man. okay. That's looking really good. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, hmm, let me think. And I think something would be interesting is, um, so I see it. You can go for like a dragon, werewolf, dinosaur -y kind of snake thing. Um, for the gums themselves, like where the, the muscle that would attach to the jaws, maybe not, it, depending if you want, um, you can ha have it flared out more like a crocodile that has some like good anatomy for that. Um, you also want maybe the... Might want to move these uh, the nostril opening closer down to the tip of the snout, uh, just a suggestion. Um, and you also want to learn. Uh, it, it, you want to define which shapes are shapes because I was having a hard time. For me, it was like, are the are the top horns or are they ears? Uh, Ooh, cool designs. Acro's got some cool ones too. But yeah, Arthur, it's looking good. I would just say kind of, um, if you have references of like snakes and other creatures, you know, pay attention to the anatomy that, that's there. But all, I, uh, but pretty much you got it uh, going into a good place. Um, let me think. I do get what, I do get what RJ means and uh, the, uh, the interesting part between the ears and the horns. And that could easily be like, shaped with just um what with basically just arms or like i mean arms a, couple, a few lines and a little bit of shading just to sort of point them in a direction it's it's really easy to manipulate so uh just don't overthink it and actually do a couple of versions of them. just mess around with them just a little bit and they may surprise yourself you may find yourself something a little bit interesting that like hey you know this may work nice you know what i'm gonna do i just got an idea i'm gonna make instead of like you know just generic i'm gonna make this guy have like diablo ceratops horns in the back yeah oh that actually kind of looks sick Dude. I'm gonna throw that. I in. know. I'm. I, I'm. I'm channeling my. Uh, Cause my favorite was this as the uh, Styracosaurus. So oh. I'm like channeling. I'm channeling like some Styracosaurus extra hornage back there. Oh, a little bit. So I do get you. Cause you don't have to go straight Triceratops at everybody. You can pick basically your. You can channel your favorite Ceratopsian and just go for it. We love all Ceratopsians here. Yeah, give them all the love. Oh, DigiZed's here. Good to oh, see welcome, you, buddy. Welcome, welcome, We are just kind of, so like this whole session, if for those of you who are just joining, it's just going to be primarily ideation. We're just going to be creating ideas for our Ultima Saurus before we start moving into more refined things later on in the sessions, which will be you know going forward into the next sessions. But right now we're just keeping it loose. A little loosey goosey. Yeah, exactly. Keeping it very loose and just kind of feeling things out, trying to see what works, what doesn't.
My dog was giving me some inspiration. I'm gonna give him like some like just a little bit some jowls, you know, like where the lip kind of hangs out a little Ooh, bit. Nice. Also, anytime, Arthur. We got you. We are here for you, buddy. Only constructive criticism here. We 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 will never bash art because we'll like we'll never say it's bad because there's always we we've. We've made some pretty interesting things in the in, in our past too, but you know what? You ha we all we all learn. That's kind of the exactly. point of this. So if you ever want, like we do, we do want you to improve, because we will ultimately what we really want is we really want you to be able to feel creative and satis and satisfied and a feeling of self fulfillment when you work. Exactly. You know that's that's really what we want because we we know as, as well as like any artist out there that when you create, you are being you're just putting your whole heart out there and you're, you're it's, it's basically just like self-therapy you're just being letting yourself be more you and we want to be able to just you know assist in that and give you a push so that you're you're feeling that even more exactly we are here for you yes we are god this looks terrifying <laughs> like these you go the one i did with these like little i really like the eyes you see but this is the point of the ideation sketches not everything's gonna have <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. I see you. I see you. Yeah, so, like, that's the cool thing about this. Like, I might take parts from all these things, and then I'll wrap it into the silhouette to refine its, its shape language, you know? Because yes. shape language is kind of like, well, you know, when things have a good flow. You, that's a, that's an important thing that you want to keep in mind. You want that things have a nice flow. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm, I'm getting a little too... Uh, what's we're looking for it precious with this design so we're just gonna rough in some things so I gotta keep this loose so we can move on I can move on to another take so this one was kind of more uh, ornithistian core rather than you know raptor or tyrannosaurid core looks pretty cool though I like I like how this guy came out there's some, but that's a cool thing. So this is all still, you know, trying to figure out like what will work for this. What won't work. What won't work. What will. So there are things I will probably take in the next drawing. And sometimes you got to go to the left with it. Like what I mean by that is like get out of your comfort zone. Like, you know, I like the Ultima Source. I do, but sometimes in the design, I kind of might want to do something a little more experimental. You know. That's kind of the point of this. Yeah. So, like, I'm going to do one right now where it's just, like, I'm going to hint at the anatomy of the creatures, but I'm going to try and make it look, like, really... Let me see. I'm going to start with the face. I'm going to kind of do something interesting there. Because, again, it's a genetically engineered, like, creature. It's a chimera. You know, there's a part of me that kind of wants to get a little more interesting with it. Yeah. I just kind of let myself be taken to wherever it needs to go. Take me away. I don't know where that came from. Just. So. I didn't. I wouldn't leave it hanging. I'm sorry. I don't know the rest of the word. That's all I know. <laughs> This more like a sleek. You know, again, this is going back to kind of a sleeker territory, but maybe something a little like a sports. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think.
just want to keep my options open. Because you never know what you might get out of even a design that's kind of non-linear to what the material is. For a famous example, when they were making Godzilla 2014, there was like a bunch of series of designs they did that were like a fish-based Godzilla. Which again, that's not the design they, they went ugly. for. They were, but yeah. they needed to go through that to get to where they needed to go. Yeah, it's very true. You kind of need to fish, fish through, you know, your designs a little bit before you finally find something that kind of speaks a little bit to you. Now, this guy is a little interesting. You know, he's not quite ferocious, more elegant, you know? Yeah. Like, have you seen this one? Oh, yeah, one second. Uh... Well, actually, give me, give me a second. Give me a second. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> then tell me when. I will, I will. I'm just kind of playing with something here. Because actually something's coming out of this. It's kind of, kind of rad, I'm not going to lie. So I'm going to turn off the other ones here. I'm going to return to my reference material because I think I have something here. This guy is feeling a lot more live. You know, I kind of, I'm getting back to that intelligent kind of elegant kind of feel. Mm -hmm. So hold on. I have something kind of going here. This is kind of giving me a little bit of cryptid vibes. <laughs> it's a little cursed, but I kind of like this. It's a little outdated, but you know, maybe just rare. Maybe up. that's the point, because if it was supposed to be made like in the in the '90s, it's got to be outdated. I know, but you're gonna see you what know? I mean exactly in a second. Okay. Okay, this kind of like a weird kind of like thing, but this guy's kind of giving me like demon fawn vibes. Demon fawn? Yeah, you know, like when you think of like a, a devil, like, you know, on like centaur legs, you know, the horns and whatnot. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm going for right now with this guy. Nice. Okay, hold on.
gonna make these a little longer. So I kind of like those long fingers it has. Okay, let me also add this. thin kind of tail. And maybe, you know, add some more quills coming down. Yeah, you know. Okay, what do you think of this one? Oh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Oh, okay, that's interesting. I love the up the uh, the walking upright type thing. That can you imagine the silhouette, the front facing silhouette of that? Terrifying, you know. That be that be ooh, good, good gosh. Yeah, that was kind of going for uncanny, you know. And look at the eyes. The they're just like bird eyes. Yeah, but like those little, just watch, yeah. little squiggles. But yeah, like these I are the kind of... on you. Exactly. I kind of like this, but I'm gonna open his mouth a little bit to see what you know, what kind of teeth, teeths, toofers he's got. Toofer, yes. Maybe it can open like. Oh, you know what it could do? It does that pelican thing where it can like, or a, sh a shoe bill where it opens it like super wide and the back of the spine can come out. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Gross, but I love it. So like something like that. There we go. It's like when it's yawning. Just like... Gosh, I, I think thinking about that, I've never. That was like an old thought. That was. Thank you. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm much appreciated though, because I, I love that. We need that terror. And then you know, having like some teeth but maybe they get a little bigger toward the back so like your bone crushing teeth in the back but then needle teeth in the front yes see there's definitely something to this one i enjoy this one but again not married to anything what if shin godzilla uh what if it had shin godzilla's mouth Ooh, that'd be kind of cool like where it splits open this, uh, I will take you up on that, so I'm going to do one that kind of splits open. And let me make this one. I have more. something. I, I kind of incorporated something like that. Uh, that the front of beak, the front, the where my mind meets up. Uh, my the uh, the the beak meets up. Um, I have it to where it kind of the mouth. It's not necessarily like a like it splits open, but um, it's kind of like where there's two major teeth that sort of like that kind of jet out, so they kind of enclose the the. Mouth majority of the front beak into it sort mm, of. you know gotcha, what i mean gotcha gotcha i see what you're doing like where the kind of the gum line would kind of just kind of stretch around them a little bit so it gives it just a little bit of a like almost like a bone spur that just not naturally supposed to be there mm, gotcha gotcha Go. Okay. 
And how about something like this? You know, maybe... So mobility to the jaw, maybe the hinge comes out this way. It's so actually instead of it splitting all the way, but like it flexes outward. You know? Mm-hmm. Maybe, you know, have a boss of horns, kind of like in the pseudo-ceratops. Not so much these this kind of horn style. Maybe well, you know, maybe put the This is definitely looking more just kind of generic Rex, but I'm gonna try and fix something up right here. So like maybe like this, like that, and like that one. Let me see. Okay. How's yours coming along, sir? Oh, that looks good. Um, like a monster, yeah, like looks, a thing. It looks, you know, oh, I feel so bad. It feels like it's just, it looks so starving. Just, I'm just imagining in, in pain. What's, I'm going to see yours, though, because yours are usually amazing. So oh, I gotta, no, uh, not I gotta... just yet. This guy I'm still struggling with. <laughs> huh? I can't see it because it's all blurry right now. My, uh, my connection's like... Shoddy. Oh, okay. Like, okay. I see something. Nice. Ooh, okay. 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 
I love it. I'm just trying to do like the the more flexed out jaw, like it, it's wider, you know? Yeah. It comes out from the side a little more. I think it could be even more wide. There we go. It looks like it's unhinging its jaw. God, that's kind of terrifying. I'm not gonna lie, I just kind of realized this one I'm doing is like kind of reminding me of Bowser. Bowser, I mean, he's kind of technically, in a sense, he's kind of like he's the Bowser of a you know, of hybrids, you know. I'm gonna go with it. He's got like huge, yeah, why not? Yeah, oh, one second, bear back, sure, sure, sure. Fridge right peaches, peaches, peach. Yeah. Yes, this is uh Bowser is Ultimasaurus, confirmed. <laughs> That's funny. I'm just gonna kinda go with it now. I'm gonna make this guy the, the Bowser variant one. Like this Godzilla esque, you know, Shin Godzilla esque kind of mouth gape. like less like this and then it'd be like flexy at the end and then it go to rigid that makes more sense yeah that's more like an ankylosaur okay i kind of didn't have it in the first part but i'm digging it now in the last half because i was kind of noodling around and didn't know where to go but now i feel like it's coming together Okay, I'm back. Sorry. I uh, forgot that I had beans on the stove. I need to add more water because I didn't want the frijoles to burn. <laughs> nice. I feel it. I, I embrace this one as the Bowser sore. I love the body. I love the body on that one. There's something so, um, there's something really hulking about it. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Like he's a tank. He's a dino hulk. This is the buff one, the swole boy, you know? Swole boy, the swole, yes. The swole boy. Ultimately ripped, bro. I imagine he sounds like that. Did you just say swultimately ripped? Yeah, swultimately ripped, bro. Oh my god. I'm gonna riot. Actually, I'm not gonna lie, he kind of, he looks like he said, come at me. That's Dude. really the feel that you should get from him, though, don't you think? Yeah. Dude, come at me. Like this guy does is starting to feel like the, like I'm hitting something. This guy is starting to feel like an actual Ultimasaurus. He's the Ultimasaurus, bro. 
Yes, he's the Giga Chat of hybrids, dude. I love it. Yes, I'm he feeling is. that. <laughs> he's the Giga Chat of hybrids. Fanta absolutely fantastic. Oh my god, he's gonna he's gonna this one this one does that that livesy funk walk to you to you. You know? Like dun dun dun, dun. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> That's too fun. I know. This is great. <laughs> I'm sorry, the memes are getting too real now. Channel um, the memes, dude. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie though, he kind of it looks like a meme and I you know, I'm okay I'm okay with it, you know? Yeah, I just like yeah. I just like his face. He's just like, yeah. I love it. Yeah, he, you know, it's it's. Yeah, I think we we I, I think I got a good sense for this kind of this this. Uh. Giga Chad Ultima Giga, yes, the Giga Chad Ultima <laughs> Like he's even got the chin now since his like jaw flexes out. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, enough, enough time on that guy. Like he'd be cousins with this dude. These are literally the Ultima Bros. Like you just made like a whole batch of like Ultima Saurus like fr fraternity. Oh my god, yes. Do I like this guy? He kind of feels too similar to this one, which is okay, you know. Which one? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. It's like he just looks like this one standing up, you know. I don't think so. Uh, maybe not, but I get the same kind of. I, I I think if I combine these two, you'd get the, the ultimate version of that. Uh, let's yeah, see. The ultimate version. Ha ha! I get it. Very great. I know. Good. There's so many old puns. Ultimasaurus frat bros. Yes, they are. They're pretty fratty. Okay, I think I've got some good ones. I'm going to make one more. And I'm going to go all out and make that one super creepy, terrifying. Ultimasaurus Ultima. Yes. That's what I'm going to go for. I'm going to make Ultimasaurus Ultima right now. I'm gonna make the ultimate yeah. ultimate sore, and yes. I'm gonna I'm gonna sneak in an Easter egg, uh, from a existing uh like un another unused hybrid. For those who are keen eyes, you might know who this one is. I'm trying to make the ultimate ultimate supreme predator. The Supreme. Ah, oh, and I want a Chalupa Supreme. Chalupa Supreme. Let's try to refine this guy again. Oops. Oh, maybe I could. Actually, we could do that. Why not? Stretch him out just a little bit. Oops.
I'm putting like multiple references into this one. <laughs> a little too big. Let me just shrink it down. Almost there. I think there's something. Could be a little more. Just a little more.
Okay. Ooh. That's looking great, man. Where are you at? I want to see. I haven't, I haven't checked. Oh, not yet. Out, uh... Not yet. Not yet. Oh. Oh, oh. Okay. I haven't clicked on it yet. Don't worry. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Sorry. This is one. On it's okay. It's okay. I just wanted to show you something really cool. That's why. I am excited. And the select tool is your friend. It saves you so much time. Does it really? Yeah, it does. Because hmm. I, watch, you'll see. In just one second, I'm almost there. It's almost ready to be seen. OK. Yeah, because I don't know if you guys can see me struggling here with Photoshop, but like, I know nothing about this. Actually, I'm not going to lie, this is slowly creeping up to be my favorite. Yes. It just looks so evil. But I got to fix a tangent, so it's OK. So it's this next looking a little too short compared to the other one. It's like when I think Ultimasaurus, I'm trying to think of like the ultimate predator, you know? Mm -hmm. Which ultimately, <laughs> God, I can't escape that word, um, gives me King Ghidorah vibes. When I think of King Ghidorah, you know? Yeah. Something elegant, beautiful, intelligent, right? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's that kind of, I think in every design when we've, you and I have done like even kaijus and stuff like that. Like they've always had a when we always come back around to King Ghidorah. It's always kind of a you're right, graceful, elegant, no matter the environment that it came from. Yeah, well, you'll see in just one second. I'm almost there. It's almost ready. It's nothing even crazy, but I just want to get something specific down. You know. Mm -hmm. When I think of uh, the Ultima Source thing, like the ultimate disaster. Oh my god, Ruiz has an Ultimasaurus. Welcome. You have a prototype. That's cool. Lucky. <laughs> Dude, that's super sick, right? What are we looking at? No, no, Justin has, uh, Ruiz has an Ultimasaurus. Ooh, okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. The flex, the, the casual flex. Hello. I remember the days when you could just, when Photoshop would give you the brushes. I do remember that. What a time to be alive. But what a disappointment. I know. <laughs> Okay, um, it's almost. Uh, 
Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This just feels pretty ultimate. Let me just refer to my things again, my references. some of that energy back I adore the Atlantis ideas they had back then when the figures like uh for here like honestly from the front it looks like a devil with its black horns and piercing green eyes. yeah it looks so terrifying angry we were just saying how angry this boy is quite the angry lad quite the angry 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 lad I'm gonna bring back that like stiff kind of tail from the the other one like that and then there we go yes if, I imagine if this thing talked it sound like Megatron from Beast Wars yes yes Either that, or it would sound like um, Mesagog. Oh, yeah. From, uh... yeah, it would. <laughs> it would sound like Mesagog. It totally would. Rangers. I love that. Oh god. I think I you find Ranger. my creation very disturbing. <laughs> but he would like. He would like draw out. He'd be like disturbing. Disturbing. You know, like he would like. Because of his mouth, I love yeah. it. <laughs> what a riot! Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord Mesagog. Uh, <laughs> did you said said, bro? If there was an a chaos effect animated series, the ultimate was voiced by Tim Curry. I I could see that. I could imagine the sounds this could make, like animalistic noises. It probably sound like similar to Indominus, but deeper. Uh, because of the trike or the other Tim herbivores. Curry. That'd be kind of cool. Actually, I'm I, I, I'm here for the Tim Curry Ultimasaurus. The he, Tim my... Curry in my head is Frank and Tim Curry. The one I'm having thinking of is one from Legend, where he's the devil. Oh, see, I, I just I'm, I like having different versions of Tim Curry. <laughs> Fant you're totally right. The um, uh, the uh, when he was darkness. Yes. Yes. Germinate within you. Uh, actually, you know, be kind of cool. I think my head cannon for my design, since the ultimate source I'm going with is very intelligent. Um, mm -hmm. maybe like verging on like self-aware, like sapient level intelligence. Maybe it can mimic mimic sounds. Oh, okay. So it can, it can mimic human speech. Mm-hmm. Like a like a demonic parrot. <laughs> oh, okay. Now it's ready. Now it's ready. Oh wait, can I see now? Yes. No. Yes. Okay. 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 Wait. Wait. I can't see. Wait. 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 Whoa! Oh my God! Does he have multiple arms, or is that like a what Mul is that going on? Multiple arms, two heads. Oh my gosh! Did you really just make him the what is it the the destroyer Rex or whatever? Yes, it's, it's like it makes Kong. sense. Just combine the two. <laughs> oh my gosh! What like, a riot! I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of like the vibe I'm going for now. This is like I think I found the one maybe. That is too funny. 
It's like, you know, oh it's like they literally are the kind of, this, like, what gets more ultimate than both of them, you know, combined into one entity. That was too, oh my gosh, that's, what a riot. What a, I mean, that would have been a really interesting show, though, by the way, now that I think about it. Like, uh, which show, the, the one that was supposed to be the Jurassic Park show, or like? The, the one, one that was supposed to have that, uh. This guy? Yeah, that that double looking, the double the double headed Rex. Or... Yes. I what met... was it called again? Anybody this... remember what it was called? I think it was called the Destroyer. Something. Well, either way, my head cannon is like this guy. He, the, each head has a different personality, like King Ghidorah. Like Kevin. Kevin, yes. Doomsday Rex. Do there you go, there you go. Thank you, thank you. Thank that's, you. That's that's one hundred percent correct. Yeah. So this guy's ultimate Ultimasaur is uh, the Doomsday Ultimasaur. What do you find, folks? Think of my two-headed angry boy. <laughs> it's got like the stiffened tail to like give a good thwack. But like you know flexible at the end it would have been super wild i agree how big do you think your ultimate sword like i know they're supposed to be huge right oh i would give him i would make him like allosaurus size I, that's what i was thinking too like something kind of a mid-size carnivore rather than making it like super huge because i kind of like that agility or like being able to get into small spaces you know still yeah yeah not so, bigger than indoraptor though for of course sure. bigger than this would kill an indoraptor horribly <laughs> yes Thank you. Oh, that's see, that's that's my heart right there. It says, "Definitely looks amazing." Screams '90s animated series. <laughs> I, I I thank you, sir. Static Shock. Yeah. Static Shock. '90s. Those are some good shows back Static then. Static Shock is more like 2000s. Good. Yeah, I mean, but it still it still had that '90s. No, this is true. Then it was early, early 2000s. This is true. It's probably in production in the '90s. Gotta be, gotta be I'm a superhero. Be, I'm, Hear me out. The size of a Carnotaurus. I, I I can see that. You know, you think Carnotaurus size is good? Yeah, I mean, what 30, 30 something feet, maybe yeah, max out at like thirty-two. I kind of I kind of feel like that, like a big one. I just yeah. again, I kind of for me, what I'm trying to you know embody is like I want this to feel like a cryptid on the island. It's like you only hear mm -hmm. like you know there was you know. Uh, if we, if we were like making our own little headcanon it's like there was you know the um the series of hybrids we did before the indominus rex you know there were test subjects back in like the mid to late 90s and they were on sorna all of them were kind of like gestated to like a certain point, uh, growth stage and then terminated except for one that escaped you know yeah but we assumed it just died because of the lysine contingency you know mm-hmm i i like to think of a like in a, in a fan film uh a fan, a fan film series that i'm I have planned the lysine con con uh, contingency doesn't actually exist it was more like a ruse just to so that hammond had peace of mind but it wasn't necessarily a thing that was a a real thing it was just a it, yeah it was just a ploy it was a you know charade a trod no, a charade oh a charade there you go i heard a trod and i was like uh, okay <laughs> it's like that's a word i think i was like i'll just agree <laughs> funny okay I hate uh this. these i'm not I'm sorry i mean the photoshop is just frustrating me i feel it uh this creature looks like it should have been the 1998 godzilla the animated series i i completely agree i love that i love that show okay so now much. that was a good series that was a that great was that was great creature design that show had dynamite creature design i really loved it Big influence on me. I think we should. I, I think we should make that a series, or we should we should make those a little bit more realistic. Oh 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 my god! Yeah, like oh cool, cool. Yeah, we were talking about this. So just kind of a thing. So Justin and I really like the idea of kind of playing with uh, different styles to kind of diversify. We can do. 
one thing we wanted to do was okay so these guys are meant to be like really extreme you know monster monsterified dinosaur hybrids so that's cool we can do that totally but also justin and i are, are you know really good at you know we can we have a range of our creatures you know, it's always good to have a range of whatever you're doing it's always good to be versatile in whatever you know you're drawing and even if you want to be known or if you want to specialize it's just so good to have that versatility whenever you want to do something else even for yourself um we can also justin and i have also done more um uh, it kind of gives the gene yeah okay thank you so much yeah i love batman beyond and the, the chimera episode i love that uh god you guys are really hitting my childhood and the things that actually were that inspired me to draw um anyway uh one thing we wanted to do is do the reverse take something super ludicrously like exaggerated and make it more like a believable creature like a like a actually you know like an animal you would see in the wild you know something that you know it's not super exaggerated, you know, I'm going to say exaggerated, but like take something like the Indominus, like as an example, and, and make it more of a believable creature. You know, imagine if it was an actual species rather than a genetic engineered hy hybrid. What creature, what group would we take to have those traits and so on and so forth, right? And it's not specifically yeah. dinosaurs. We wanted to play with that for everything. So like if I really wanted to like stick it out there, like we could go really further out. Like if we did like godzilla the animated series we could you know we could split into two parts recreate uh you know we, we could do less episodes but we can recreate the we could do it like a two-part each well, just as a pitch right now to you justin we could like recreate ours take on the original creature design right and then mm -hmm. try to reverse engineer into like a real life animal that'd be interesting you so mean like it's for like a final or like for each for each so like you do two drawings per creature I mean, would you? I, I'd have to be more. I'd have to figure out this Photoshop thing more. That's okay. I can help you too. Because I just kind of like my my brain just kind of went blank right now. Like I hit a block because like I I I'm just not used to this program and I'm not used to art like arching my body in a way to be able to do like a. A two dimensional thing because mm. I don't I don't draw much that often so I'm like. I know. Remember, it's stretch your back out every now and then. Don't don't get the shrimp. Back. Yeah shrimp back wait what wait what yeah you know the shrimp back like you're shrimping over i've never no i got a mental picture of me just as a shrimp sitting here <laughs> i would love to see cyber cyber godzilla yeah that'd be kind of cool like like i, I want to get you know the public both kind of sides of it like where we do our take on just like translating the creature but more of our take on it right yeah, but then I'd say the real world version. It's like it has to live with an ab object reality. As in, think of it like this: we're gonna draw. I, is, I'll, I'll put it to you like this: we'll draw Zilla and do our take on Zilla, like what you'd expect. You know, of course, our take on with that. You know, but to make it into mm -hmm. more of an actual animal to challenge ourselves stylistically, what kind of creature would it look like? We could make it a dinosaur. We can make it like a future. You know, like a spec evo lizard. Uh, just something that feels like it would be, you know, evolved, you know? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hold on. They said, I have, I have that because I draw as well. Cool. Sick. Yeah. Cyber Godzilla is really cool. And did you, that was Ruiz. Uh, Digi Zed said, I'd love to see you guys make your own original Kaiju designs fighting Godzilla in a Godzilla, the series style that, oh, and Ruiz said, that'd be awesome. Actually, do you want to tell them what we have in store? Of the, the Godzilla and Ghidorah thing? Yes. Or was that revealing too much already? I don't think it is revealing too much. We can reveal. So, uh, here. So, as you know, folks, this is our final boss section we're doing right now. The Ultimasaurus is the end of our season with the Chaos Effect line for now. That's not mean we can ever mm -hmm. come back to it. But for now, it's, you know, capping off uh, this, you know, this uh, season. Next season that we start after this part three... This three-part finale, uh, we are going to be doing our take on Primal Carnage, uh, Primal Rage. Um, so we're going to be doing the Beast Gods from Primal Rage. After that, though, we're doing a little bit of a different one. Uh, and Justin and I are going to give you, uh, you fine folks a little bit of insight what we have planned for that. Uh, Justin, do you want to take it away about what we have for the King of the Monsters? You remind me because I forgot. <laughs> you, for you forgot? It's okay. I got you. Uh, it's okay. We are going to be taking another long form approach, much like this Ultima Source. We're only going to focus. Um, it's not so the Godzilla of the series we'd like to do as a separate thing, but right now we have wanted to try something out. 
after Primal Rage, we are going to be doing a, like, what would you say, month-long session, where it's two sessions each, right? Uh, yeah, on, on, a on what? On Godzi what, though? Godzilla and King Ghidorah. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Um, yes. So, yeah, yeah it's going to be cool. Um, pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to do something interesting. So Justin and I are going to be combining our already existing designs, which, you know, we will show, uh, we can give like a little sneak peek at the end of this, you know, uh, session today. Yeah. Um, we are going to be combining two ex designs we've already had and putting them in a shared story and trying to come together with some cool visual development artwork for that. Uh, as in, we're gonna also going to be drawing scenes, environments, them interacting with each other, and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. Is that pretty much the gist of it too, Justin? Anything else you wanted to add to that? Yeah. A little bit of story building there and everything. A little bit of 3D modeling fun, you know? Yes. We can make some nice little, like, uh, maquettes and have them pose with each other, you know? Yes. Oh, you know what you can also do? This would be really cool. You can make a scene for me. Like, you could pose, like, some, like faux building like they, they don't have to be t uh, textured at all they just got to be rectangles you know um you can pose the models in a way and i can draw over that and do a paint over we should i'll just make them both into figures and we can both have like a like a fun little display in our own homes well no i'm just saying that but i mean <laughs> i mean literally like you can if you have the models uh you could pose them right mm -hmm. if you, you put them on a rig right yeah mm -hmm. so you could pose them and then you could put them in like just put like a little block cityscape you could send me that screenshot and i can do a paint over that's true. That's true. I have no idea about rigging, but like you know, we'll figure something out. Yeah, we will. Don't, don't. Don't... Yes. No, that's gonna... what we do, guys. That's what we. Do, guys. We learn. This is also. I'm also learning right now in my 3D modeling class. So I, if anything, I could do it too. Yes. Fantastic. Okay. So what I'm gonna do now, folks? I think I got a nice little gang of Ultimasaurs right here. They look pretty terrifying. I'm gonna start refining these. Uh, I'm gonna take my favorites. You know. There are things about, you know, a lot of them that I like, but I want to take attributes from my favorite ones and really get a nice sense of what they're going to look like. Rigging is a pain, so I don't have a, yeah, it's, it is, but, you know, not going to lie, it's kind of fun too, but it is tedious. My friend was telling me about it, uh, she was, we were watching her rig something and uh, she was telling us how the underwear kept coming off of her rig. So she just painted the underwear on the guy, so the <laughs> underwear would never come off again. That's a mood. That is a mood. Um, Love it. Yeah, definitely fun. Okay, so let me just get these together. So I'm going to move these up ahead. I'm going to make uh, copy these. I'm going to combine them. I'm going to merge all these other ones into a group. So I have them still separate, but these this is the combined layer. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to make a, another artboard. And this one's specifically going to be for refinement. So I'm going to take my favorite ones, my top three of these little designs right here. And I'm going to do silhouette studies for each of them. So I'm going to take my top three, and then I'm going to have a nice selection. I'm going to keep filtering down as the session goes over until we reach the end, you know? Mm-hmm. And I have no idea what I'm doing because my brushes are just a mess. So I'm just going to, we're just going to get something. Definitely. I like, I like what you're doing with yours though. It looks pretty cool. Yeah. I have no idea what I'm doing. You got, you're doing something. It's something. Better than nothing. <laughs> Hey, I have a suggestion for, uh, Rui said something. I have a suggestion for the future. You guys should make your own chaos effect. For example, like a sperm whale T-Rex or something. That'd be kind of cool for, for a revisit of the chaos line. Make our own, you know, original yeah. ones. Yeah. We can even make it fun. We can make like a, a roulette and we have to combine the animals we get, you know? A roulette. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, I because like I like, that's a little bit of randomness and keeps us on our toes. I think that's the most important thing. Yeah. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna actually, I don't, I don't need this in this layer, so we can go back. Let's see, I like. Yeah, I think these are my top three. Weirdly enough, it was Bowser, Rex, and. Bowser. 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start blocking these guys out. And then I can start doing... That, yeah, it's not, it would be a great time. That'd be really cool to do. Okay, so I'm going to start blocking these guys out. And it's going to be, yeah, it'd be fun to really... Anything to kind of keep us on our toes, right, Justin? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I like how yours is almost like an abelosaur quality to it. The squash face. Yeah, it's got like the really deep face. Yeah, I like I like those because I like I like the idea of like them using like them bringing their heads down like a hatchet to like really, Ooh, you know, take down prey. Like a bolt cutter, just like. Just like nom nom, yeah. Just break through the bone. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna start blocking out. So I like to do shadow silhouettes, which pretty much means like, you know, I ha don't worry folks, I have these on separate layers, so I'm not gonna lose the beautiful design, the uh, rough sketch this is. But right now I am just more concerned about silhouettes and how it's reading. You know, this is a perfect chance for me to kind of clean up things and get this critter to a more refined state before we start choosing, you know? Yeah, actually, I'm going to start that, too, because right now I'm just going over this and, like, I'm just going over. I'm going to be going over and over again and again and again, and I can't be doing that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's getting too, like, repetitive. Yeah. You're not no, like getting anywhere. Yeah, no worries. You, yeah, you're, uh, you're noodling, as they would say. Noodling. Oh, I want noodles. I'm hungry. Noodles are good. That's but uh, it's an art term I learned when you, like, you're too focused on, like, one thing when you should be focusing on the whole piece. That is a beautiful term. <laughs> It was I learned that from one of my teachers. Noodling. Oh, so the original toy feature, uh, the toy actually would slam the top jaw in a biting mechanism. Apparently, so you're, Justin. Apparently, you you're very accurate to the toy. Yay! I'm not a loser after all. Oh. Is that a song someplace? How does it? How does it? Uh, how does a song go? I don't remember. Is this, there's a song that. That's why, but this this is there's an interesting song I forgot. I'm not a loser. I don't know. Maybe it's a, after all, I, I guess something. It's something like that. Who knows at this point? What a riot! Okay, okay. I'll just so start just gonna be super rough. Just shadowing this guy up, and then I'm gonna make six silhouettes. I don't know how this works, but uh, what are you trying try... to do? Uh, I'm just trying to. I'm just gonna literally fill this this in with like ink. I'll just use whatever color. I don't really need a. I'll use like yellow or red. No, I'll use like yellow. You're trying to make a flat. Yeah, layer? it's just. Yeah, I'm just trying to like figure this out because I'm not used to. I actively like kind of avoid Photoshop, so this is kind of a good challenge that I'm not doing that. Oh, here, here. Let me let me make something easier oh. for you. So you're going to go to your lasso tool. Yeah. Do you see your lasso tool in the toolbar to the left? Yes, I do. Select it. Okay. And hold hold I down on hold down on it. Like right uh, left click okay. and hold down on it. Does the menu come up where it shows like the polygonal lasso tool, the magnetic lasso tool? Yes. Select the poly yes. select the polygonal one. Okay. Now zoom in really far in your line art. Not like super, oh, okay. like not like super. Yeah, that's good enough. Like a little, maybe a little closer. Okay. And just pick a point, like uh, whatever you think the final lines are going to be, right? Yeah. And see how and it's I just kind of like trace that. Yeah, just trace it. Just so you, each click, you're going to put another point, and then it'll let you go for another point. You see what I mean? Yeah. Just do trace that whole outline. I know it's tedious, but trust me. Once you get, mm -hmm. uh, you're going to try and make a whole loop. So just follow the outline, whatever you think the outline is. So don't do details. Just do the whole outline, like a coloring book, you know? So don't okay. mind, don't mind zigzagging into the teeth too. Like you can, you can, you don't have to do it like that. Yeah, that's fine. Just follow the outline. Just follow the outline, everything. Okay. Gotcha. On, uh, Cause I'm used to like, the, uh, yeah. I'm used to like this other weird select tool that comes off and like, However, it's in a, however, it's whatever it's called a procreate. You yeah, don't worry. This is interesting. And if you, if you put one, you don't want to just make sure to put backspace and it'll just delete the last point you did without getting rid of the selection. Backspace. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. So yeah, just do that when you're finally done with everything. Um, just make sure again, you're going to connect it so you can you know, connect it where you started. So the whole selection is, you know, there. 
Mm -hmm. Then you're going to flat it. Uh, you're going to edit. You're going to hit edit and then fill. And then you can select whatever color. And it'll be that as a flat layer color. And you can select that. And then you can use paint on top of that rather than having to just freehand it. Okay. Okay. Well, I will see what happens. Let me try it. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm literally going to ask you like when I get to that point. Cause... Yeah, sure. No worries. I'm here to help you. And I guess for anyone else, uh, folks, like, you know, if you're in the disc our Discord and whatnot, we got, we're got we here to offer a helping hand and just really want uh, to be there, whatever you need. You know, you're drawing concerns or needs or questions. We got you. Oh, uh, so Rui says, hey, so I am shockingly getting the chaos effect Ceratosaurus. Wow, there was a Cerat I didn't even know there was a Ceratosaurus. But are you guys going to do a Ceratosaurus? I'd love to see you do interpretation of this because it, uh, I did one and it made it look like a zombie. Um, for the Chaos Effect line, uh, like I said, this Ultima Source is the final uh, send off for this season. But definitely, if we come back, when we eventually come back um, to the series, we would we can do totally do one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Besides, we also have other ceratosaurs we want to tackle. For example, we have plans in the future to do walking with dinosaurs, uh, doing our own takes. Or, um, again, as updated, like we also do science illustration as well as and more, I guess you could say, up-to-date paleo art, especially I do. And Justin has done too. So we wanted to do kind of re, um, re, um, what would you say, re redesign, reimagine the, you know, uh, when dinosaurs roamed America dinosaurs as well as the walking with dinosaurs series you know yeah just like uh, what was it notable dinosaurs yeah exactly like yeah notable we also want to do aladar yes and i wanted to do my uh carnotaurus from uh yes my big pink carnotaurus yes Uh, Sauron or Diablo, who is your pick to win? Did you said said? Do you know those two, Justin? Uh, is that from uh, what's that from? That's from Primal Rage. Oh, see, I, I wouldn't know. I wasn't allowed to play video games that much when I was a kid. It was the uh, if you're familiar, it's the yellow T Rex versus uh, Sauron is the yellow T Rex, Diablo is the red one. Oh, cool. Okay, I'll have to Google that later. Uh, you know, they both look like generic Tyrannosaurus. However, I always see them kind of reimagined as like Sauron is usually a, usually a, a big T-Rex and then Diablo is usually an Abelosaurid or an Allosaurid of some, some kind. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd say Sauron based on weight. I think, you know, he's, he's bigger. He's got more, you know, heft behind him. Heft. But then again, Diablo's got fire. That's kind of... That's, that's, that is a game changer. I'd, I'd say probably Diablo then. Because of fire alone. Like, you know, you don't want to really tangle with something that burns you. Yeah. <laughs> I wish my iPad was not from 2016. I would have drawn using my iPad instead of uh, this. It's okay. You know what I mean? It's all learning experience. Don't be too hard on myself. Yeah, don't be too hard on yourself. It's okay. You're doing great for what it is. Cool. Okay, so you're going to go to edit. Uh, okay. And it says where it says and fill. fill. And then you're going to go to... Cult, yeah. uh, you're going to go to... Where it says, uh, you're "Wait, gonna... I should do a, I should do a different layer, though, right?" Yeah, do it on okay. a different layer. Mm -hmm. And then fill. And then you're gonna go to uh, drop down menu. You're gonna select color. And then you're gonna select whatever color you okay. want. Okay. Oh, okay. Um. Uh. This is a base color. Nothing. It's you know nothing too hard. Oh, about. okay. So I, I. Okay, I just well, I, I didn't know how to actually select the color. I was like. I'll just go with this yellow color because it lets me see. Okay, I just do that. Oh, okay, interesting. There you oh, go. Wow. So okay. Dra drag yeah. that, drag that layer underneath your line art. Oh, okay, so I can like refine, refine it. Yeah, so you can, shapes. so you can, so you can see your line art on top of this. Okay. Um, I think I just did. Oh wait, or did I do it on the wrong? Wow, put them on the same layer. Isn't that fantastic? Let me. 
Command Z. Yep, Command Z. Okay, where is the actual liner? Okay, now, oh, it was on the same. Okay, wow. I have to do it again. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. uh, yes, the real Pyro Raptor. I'm not gonna oh, lie. There you go. Yeah, we're actually gonna we, we want to do we want to do those. I want to draw. You know, I, I've been telling Justin I want to draw little Das and Pod and um, who else? Uh, white Amber? tip. We want to draw white tip. Which one was white tip? The Velociraptor. <laughs> oh, okay. My memory's horrible. It's okay. Mine's pretty bad too. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I only remember spe specific things, but like general things, I forget. Mm. Like for example, did you, did I eat today? Not until very late. Ooh. Don't do that, folks. I. Yeah, I had just oatmeal. Oatmeal is pretty good, though. Not really. I mean, it wasn't good oatmeal because I don't have a lot of ingredients, so I oh. just like survival a thing and some like frozen berries. Yeah, just surviving. Survival oatmeal. <laughs> Valid. Uh, Yes. Okay, let's see here. Yep. DigiZ says, like, ah, oh, Dinosaur Pan Plan is one of my faves. It's, yeah, folks, you have no idea. The the, the dinosaur cinematic universe we're trying to build. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. This, 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 uh, you know, this PCU, the, the, the paleo cinematic universe. Is that what is, is that what we're calling it? Paleo is that what it is? I'm, just, I'm making, PCU. making it as a joke, you know, because this is like oh. this crossover, you know. Oh my God, is that Aladar? He comes through a portal and he ends up fighting like you know, uh, Dragonfly. Oh wow. Oh, uh, Rui right. says, Justin, if it makes you feel any better, I forgot that the Spinosaurus was in Jurassic Park Warpath, and the reason why it's funny is because I remember hating that one because it was weaker. Oh, I, I I wouldn't know. I'd never played Jurassic, Jurassic Park Warpath either. <laughs> it's completely cool, bro. I know that's that's the first time I've ever heard that too. I've only the only Jurassic games I've been I've been able to play in my life were um, uh, uh, Dino Defender and Danger Zone, and then um, what was the other one? The uh, Operation Genesis. But I was only able to play that maybe like maybe like three or four times in my life. Maybe not even that. I would just. It was my friend's game, so I'd have to watch him play. I feel that. But uh, that was it. Look for the mark of Jurassic Park. Okay. <laughs> Consoles are expensive. They are. Okay, cool. So here's what you're going to do to make your life a lot easier when it comes to this, too. So you have your base, right? Yeah. Don't color directly on your base. Uh, you're just kind of using that as your base. Uh, go to that layer where the base is, right? Yeah. Uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna make another layer on top of that, right? Okay, okay. And then I'll go uh, back to the layer. Now hover your mouse over the layer. Oops, I meant, I meant. Okay. Over the layer with the yellow, right? Yeah. So you see the little image in the and the layer file itself where it says, you know, it just shows a little picture of the layer, you know? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, you see it, right? It's got like a little eye. We could turn it on and off, right? Yeah. So to the right of that, where that little panel is, where the image is, where it says like layer, whatever, control, mm -hmm. hold the control button. And then uh, you see the little hand change shape. It's got like a little square around it now. Uh, yes. Now click that layer. Okay. And are you clicking uh, the, the yellow, are you clicking the yellow layer, right? Yeah, it, it comes with a, a few options. Options? <laughs> It just comes with options. Yeah, you said control, right? Control or command? Or... Uh, a beacon command. Oh, sorry. It's, you're on a Mac. I'm on a PC, remember? Oh, command. Okay, command, and I click the layer. Okay, now it, highlight, it highlighted the whole thing. Now what do I do? Like it's selected, right? Yeah. So go to the layer you just made that's empty, right? Oh, okay, yeah. And then start drawing on top of that, and that will be in the bounds of that that layer. Oh, okay. Like a... um. Okay. So like the, the the layer you just made is your is your is what we call it your flat layer. That is your you know, of course you know that that is your flat color. So that is just kind of a basic uh, thing to kind of refer to. Now you can draw on top of that using whatever kind of colors you want without affecting that base coat. 
Okay. I'll. I'll. I'll okay. Because I'm. I'm not there yet. I actually, start finding this because I, I made this thing like really. Um. See if you, I don't know if you can see this, but it's like not even finished yet. No worries. But I'm just letting you know yes, for later when you start. You know, coloring. Yes. Thank you. Anytime. Because that's helpful. Oh, uh, DGZ said, I'd love to see some old-fashioned rock music AMVs with various dinosaur footage, old-school YouTube stuff. Uh, all I can say is Warpath, Warpath is difficult. Yeah, Warpath is crazy. Especially, also, you know, that other game, that Lost World game where you play as a human Rex and a raptor was also pretty difficult. Or the Compy one where you have to outrun the Carnotaurus is insane. I remember having to do that. I, I, I bought that game. I found that in a, in a, in a GameStop when I was, like, little. I, I got lucky. GameStop, wow. I know, super rare. Um, okay, so I'm going to start my silhouettes. So pretty much what I mean is I'm going to take these designs. I had come to a kind of an understanding that I really like these designs, but they can use more refinement. So what that means is I'm going to be pretty much doing uh, this. Let's see. Seems that you are quite the Jurassic collector, Ruiz. This Ultima Source figure is just going to be primarily assembled or this together by you, because I don't know. If my stuff is like my stuff is not. My it's going to be like the worst render ever. I like, and I'm I'm okay with that. But we'll uh. Hey, it's so because I know because basically what we're going to do, everybody, is we're going to be like combining kind of like the the but what we like best from them, but like you know into one so that they can become a figure. It can become a figure. But oh this yeah, guy is just coming out. Oh yeah, should we let them let, remind them for the people who don't may not know? Oh yeah, this is basically just going to be the retro revival like Ultimasaurus. It's a uh, kind of like our first figure collab because uh, it's super fun and why not? So I guess surprise, folks! If you didn't know, this thing's actually going to be a real thing. This is our first collaborative. Okay. I thought we already told them that. I did. did we not tell them that? Is we that did. something that we missed out on? No, 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 we didn't. It's just you got to think, you know, just for people who may be joining for the first time. Oh, okay. Because my memory, dude. I'm telling you, it's okay, shot. Man. It's okay. gone. It'd be like that sometimes. <laughs> it really, it really did be like that. Wow. Okay, so did you said you know there's a whole conversation about uh, Jurassic Park games, and I'm here for it. Um, I will say, folks, my my personal favorite is Operation Genesis. I played that game so much that that game will forever live in my brain. That's like one of the happiest memories. I didn't even know it was a computer game until RJ told me. I know. Uh, I, I found that out later. But like the thing about it that makes it like super cool for me is like the mod community was pretty rad. Also, just we, I like how we we're talking like a couple of sessions ago. We we're talking about Crusher. People have their OCs, and you talked about like you know that person <laughs> or knew of that person. You know. I think so. I maybe yeah. It was like one of the modelers you said for Beast of the Mesozoic, or like one of you. Oh yes, 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 yes. And you said it was it was Rawl. Rawl is the original. I think was the original person. Yeah. I believe. I've said mod. Yeah. Okay, so right now, folks, I'm gonna start to really add things to this guy. Just kind of really try and and bring it to the next level. Bring bring more to this design it was uh bardsy bardsy bards oh bards bards it was oh yeah uh what how what's his username on gonna uh yeah i know who you're talking about jacob jacob is his name is jacob his name is jacob Just there. If he ever sees this, I'm sorry that I got his name wrong because uh, I got the, the artist wrong because, uh, yeah, I never played the game. I mean, I, I don't know anything about the mods or anything. I just remember that when people get eaten, it would make like a like a bell sound. Oh yeah, just <laughs> just remember the 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 bell to who for whom the bell tolls. Yes. <laughs> God, this two-headed one looks so evil. Ruiz has a replica of Dino Canis. We actually did a Dino Canis. That was a fun one, remember, Justin? Is that the dog one? The dog one. 
Yes. So one thing I kind of want to add to each head, I want them to feel a little unique to each other. So then, you know, maybe maybe it's something like this. They have different horn shapes. I saw it amazingly well done. Thank you. It was a really fun episode to do the Dino Canis. Had a great time. Also, I'm going to be very transparent with you folks. A little bit of this inspiration from this two-headed Ultimasaurus. Uh, if you if you catch this one, you're a true legend. Uh, it's not the greatest game. I'm not going to sit here and act like it was a great addition to the series because it wasn't. Uh, but I don't know. My little kid brain really liked it. I didn't have the game myself. I only had the first game in the series and I watched the other two, but I, I don't know. I, again, I like great creature design and it may not be like, again, I, I completely, under, I'm not fighting with anyone. It's not a great game. It's, it's not, it's pretty okay. Um, but with that being said, I really enjoyed Dino Crisis's three's premise of like these mutant creature, dinosaur, you know, adjacent creatures that were like made from genetic material on a spaceship. And that final boss, Giganotosaurus, with like the two heads that look like a xenomorph, was also a big influence in this one. I thought that was really cool as a kid. I was just like, yo! Oh, that's looking good, Justin. I'm not happy, but well, I'm just going to keep going. <laughs> hey, that's all you can do, though. I think because the thing is, it's not, it wasn't a final line art. I just started like, looking at the time, and I was like, ah, because usually I'll, I'll like really go in with like, line art. And I had this whole idea in my head. I was like, okay, my process. But then like I started like fiddling with all, then it's, and I started running it on time preparing to, like for the session. Yeah. We can and go I was just like, like, ah. We can go a little later. It's completely fine. You got like what? We can. Nah, I mean, like, I would literally have to like, I would have to like start off with like a whole different like line art because like this is literally just still like a sketch. It wasn't even. It's just not even where I would. You know? Yeah. You know what? Yeah. If I sketch a little, if I let me just keep going. Actually, maybe what it is is I only had like oatmeal and like a Jello cup today, so maybe that's it too. Yeah, that's yeah. You know, but hey. Be... You do it, you're doing the best you can, buddy, and that's completely fine. And besides, I, I'm doing the best I can. And we're, that's where we're here to support each other. You're all good. Let's see here. Besides, you're uh, going to be super powered when it comes down to the modeling of this thing. I know. I'm actually that's actually the part that I'm most like look, looking forward to. I think what it, but this is good because. You know, in general, I don't. I've never drawn with Photoshop before. This is my first time actually doing a sketch with Photoshop. Everything else that I've ever posted, I mean, with the exception of the Sukumimus that I posted yesterday, that was also the th the original base three D model of the Sukumimus figure. Yeah. Um, but that was already pre done and basically just rendered out, and then I'm able to you know adjust the layers and kind of paint on it just like that. So it's a little bit. It's not exactly. I wouldn't necessarily call it a Photoshop art, but uh, Photoshop is definitely something that I need to definitely need to know how to do because it's just it's in general it's a tool that's used by everybody you know like it's it's a popular tool it is really good i'm not gonna lie pricey like i'm not gonna sit here and act like it's not god it is but it is a really useful tool especially with all the things it can do you know but i i will say i will say this you know you're doing good for your first outing like that's more than i could do my first time back into photoshop you know this is the first time ever <laughs> trying thank you yeah i'm just gonna i'm gonna I'll just mute this. The not mute. Oh, wow, what the heck was I not painting on the? What is this one? What is? It? I don't know what's going on anymore. It's fine. And this is kind of going to be funny, but as a kid, I had a. This is also bringing it back, folks. I also had a um. A game called Spore. If anyone knows that game. <laughs> I also had a creature called the Ultimasaurus, and it looked like a forearm dinosaur. <laughs> what a mood. So I was like, in a, in a weird way, this is a shout out to my Ultimasaurus that I made in, in Spore. Oh, uh, 
Rui says it sounds like my high school diet. Digi Z sounds like my college diet. Um, just a friendly reminder, folks. Make sure to eat food. Don't get me wrong. I, I am on that university diet, and uh, it's it's the same. It's pretty pretty intense. But hey, find water when you can. Eat some vegetables if you can. Just uh, your brain needs food if you want to make good art. It really does. I'm not. I'm 100 percent honest with you guys. I am not 100 percent like here right now. I am definitely lacking, but uh, I'm trying my best here. So we'll see what happens. That's why you are a champion in my eyes. Thank you. I'm really trying here. Okay, let's just. Okay, what is a good brush? I'm starting over. Not starting over completely, but what is a good brush? Because this is just. Is that a good brush? Is this okay? That may be okay. It's okay to start over. That's also another thing that, you know, you can, all, it's okay to start over, folks. Not every drawing is going to be the best one. This neck needs to be a little longer. Yeah, at least I can warp this guy just a little bit. Maybe this guy's horns point a little more forward. Like that one goes straight up, but what if this horn goes straight this way? <laughs> now I'm losing my mind. Oh, actually, that's actually kind of interesting. It's kind of funny, but. <laughs> what was up? I'm uh, just, I'm like, I'm like, I don't know what's going on, but I, I'm, I'm just warping. I'm just losing my mind, like slowly warping this thing. This is like an artist, everybody, like just losing it but i'm it, it's still funny time because i don't know what's happening it's okay. <laughs> just warping this ultimate source and it'll turn to something cool it'll, it'll something will happen let me ask you this do you think the ultimate source has like you know a long tongue or a short tongue or you think it's stiff like a bird oh, I'm, oh i'm going with short tongue like short ceratopsy and tongue so that it's more mouth more hazard mouth and less risk of biting its own like tongue. that makes, that you know makes what sense I mean? that makes sense i'm gonna do like a woodpecker kind of tongue where it's like kind of barb like yeah. Um, in my interpret, oh, Rui says, in my interpretation of the Ultimate was because I did the Chaos Infect Spired story, the Night Hunter and normal Ultimosaurus had sentience, could camouflage, and was smart enough to mimic humans. Ah, oh, that's what I was pretty much saying, too. This is like a general idea. But hey, you know, great minds think alike. It's always good to have like a super crazy predator. Like, I was, I was kind of thinking of like, for me, like inspiration wise, was that, that bear from Annihilation where it, like, it says, help me, you know? Like that movie. I never, never it's, saw that movie. It's not that bad, actually. It's it really, good. It was a pretty good film, from what I remember. Hmm. Yeah, I was thinking of like it could do something like that. Uh, or maybe you know, actually, you know, it'd be kind of cool. What if the Ultimosaurus can make an infrasonic rumble that's like super that messes with people's equilibrium, giving them like vertigo. Yeah. Is that like the creature that I mentioned to you a while while back? I think you did. <laughs> This is for something else. I can't really mention it, but like that's it's it's a it's a different project. But uh, Ooh, then I will not mention that. Uh, but you know, no. I mean, you can still do it, but it's it's you know, like don't like don't like you know, go for it, man. But like you know, I was just I was just, I was asking because it just reminded me. No, it's the thing. Like I'm not gonna lie, I completely forgot. <laughs> I was just thinking out of the box. Did you remember? Did you remember now? <laughs> I do remember now. I was like, oh yeah, wait, wait. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. What a riot! What? But you're on that team anyway, so it's totally fine. This you're on, you're on like all my teams, my guy. This is true. This is true. Kind of like T Rex crumbles. Yes, I would say so. Eight twenty seven. Okay. I think you know. For now, I think I've come to a decision on which one I'm going to do. This two headed one is too rad, you know. <laughs> so I think I'm going to kind of stick with this one as the for this one and for the time frame you know mm -hmm. the other ones are pretty cool though they, they were good contenders oh 
Del Reese says, can I share the basic synopsis of the Chaos Effect Spirit story I wrote for an episode I want to, uh, wanted to animate? Yeah, go ahead. Shoot. It's if you feel comfortable. What say you, yeah. Justin? Mm -hmm. What happened? What say you? What about me? What about what? What's, what's that? What's that? Oh, name? no, I was saying you cool with that, too. Oh, heck yeah. Show us. You know, tell us. Tell us your, uh, tell us tell us your... your lore. Oh, yeah. wait, are you... Are... Or are you are you like are you talking about the the the, the ultimate source the the one from my thing too? Are we sharing ultimate source stories? No, no. I think this one this uh, I think Ruiz wants to talk about like a, a show pitch. Tell us, Ruiz. Tell tell us your in, in, ingenious your ingenuity. Exactly. Ultimate show source. us. Show us. Tell us the lore. I'm gonna continue doing my club design. I think this is there. Oh, I'll be back one sec. These arms. So this would be like the chest going in. Like this. That means the arms would be Said, has anyone seen the Jurassic Park claymation movie from way back called Jurassic Park: The Mainland from Lecter sixty three? I have not, but feel free to share in the chat if you'd like to. I'm always down to kind of see some cool Jurassic media. It's always fun time to kind of see people's little fan projects. Maybe not so much this crown. Maybe back that Diablo Ceratops kind of frill. Maybe one horn. From 2010, the quality is unusual, but I still love the heck out of this. Cool. Yeah, I'll definitely give that a watch. Seems like it's a fun time. Have you returned, good sir? Uh, yes, I have. Nice. Did you say it was sharing a video about a Jurassic Park fan film that was like a claymation video? Oh, okay. It's in the chat if you ever want to see it. I'm going to give it a look see after. They kind of give me like uh, these Ultima Source give me like demonic pelican vibes. <laughs> Mm, 
maybe this one has more leggy kind of legs, if that makes sense, more nimble kind of legs. Like, I kind of like that, more like a thinner kind of leg. Maybe this one doesn't have that. Maybe it's more like that. And it just has, yeah, ooh, that kind of works. Sorry, Rio says, sorry if that's a lot. It's just an episode of an idea I want to see. Uh, did you post it in the Discord or was it in the Discord? Let me see. Ooh, cool. Croc Rhino. Ar uh, Arthur, if you're still uh, here, this is looking pretty, pretty awesome. And... Justin, you there, buddy? Uh, yeah, what's going on? No, no, just making sure you're still around. Oh, it's in the oh, Twitch chat. Yeah, it's in the Twitch chat, but I can't seem to see it. Um... Oh, I, yeah, I don't think I see it yet, Ruiz. I just kind of see DigiZed, and then the last thing I have from you before this was, can I share with you the synopsis? I don't see the synopsis outright. Um, if anything, you can also post in the Discord. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, let me see. Uh, let me link the Discord. Actually, Justin Q, you because I don't want to mess up the stream. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha, don't worry. Thank you, buddy. Mm -hmm. Discord. We should make a new channel for it in the Discord called Lore. <laughs> Your Lores. I'm not going to lie, Justin, I, I, I really now can't unhear this thing sounding as mesagog in my head. That's fantastic. It can't canonically that's what it sounds like now. My wake up tablet keeps shutting down. It's got a bad driver. Oh. You ever have that or just or maybe I don't know. No, I, I have the digital one where you could like see. No no yeah, no, I definitely mine it's always a hassle. It's always annoying. Okay, hold on. Let me get the hands out and ready. It kind of made it look like almost dragony. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna pull a nice prehistoric planet and give this one the super long USC tricorns. Nope, nope, did not intend to do that. There we go. <laughs> I 
This one's like at a thousand. It's just got a bunch of like. So Justin, yeah, what's up? What's a little bit of your process when you're like starting to cut down uh, your three D models, like when you're trying to make cuts? Uh, cuts as in like just trying to like whittle down the shape a bit, or yeah, like when you're about to print a uh, articulation, I guess you would say. Oh, I mean, the first thing we do is uh, before you do that, you just draw it into a uh, drop. You want to drop that into Photoshop, and then just kind of draw lines on it where you think articulation would work best. Um, it's very important though to like take into consideration where you want articulation to be in the figure because too much and the figure will not be able to support itself and also if you put in too much articulation it could ruin the AS the overall aesthetic of the figure of the shape of the figure because it ends up looking a little bit it can look a little bit too um uh crustacean like if that makes oh, sense gotcha, when you gotcha. have too many segments especially like an exoskeleton yeah so it's very you don't want to put in too much articulation, and there are some figures out there that I've seen that look a little bit too exoskeletonish. Look um, like they become crab. But uh, yeah, they just become crab. But like, so you, it's just one of those things that you want to be. I try to be mindful of when slicing. What I call the slicing and dicing process and making a figure. Um, yeah, because you want to be able to avoid that. It, I mean, it, as much as we love super articulated toys, the reality is is that more articulation does not always good. In fact, sometimes it could actually just completely destroy um the figure process or you know the overall image of what you're doing so that's the first thing that i do and that usually starts with like several concepts of me just drawing several several lines on different photoshop layers and um just trying to slice and dice the thing into like a into a you know what would what would probably look uh look good and then also sometimes it's easy because to um overdo it or to overestimate the complication uh because sometimes you'll start adding an articulation where things are not physically possible. Um, I'll notice that sometimes, like, you know, some, sometimes you can see this on other people's art too when they do, like, you know, their own, like, when I know there's some people do, like, their own Hammond collection, like, figure uh, renders, you know, where they like to show their own dream Hammond, you know, what they want their Hammond collection figures to look like in the future. And, like, it's it's fun and it's and it's great and all, but there's there's some things that are not just not, um, not physically possible, nice. you know? you can't just totally create articulation just by simply drawing a line on a piece of pa uh, paper or on a picture. It's like, you really have to weigh in like the internal geometry structure, um, millimeter space that's available. You know, it's, it's interesting. It's a, so that's usually what happens. It's just a lot of, um, a lot of thinking and a lot of, um, sketching. Exactly. Just kind of a lot of ideation, you know? Yeah, so that's probably, that's uh, everybody. So that's kind of basically what's going to go on in the future when RJ and I start to uh, to turn this into the figure process. Um, it, it's going to be a lot of uh, discussion on our end where we're going to be uh, basically overall talking like, does this need to move? What can move here? What can move there? What d does not need to move is a uh, usually a big thing too. Um, so that's going to be a, a really fun discussion. That usually comes around to after the figure has already been um, uh, 3D sculpted. Exactly. No, you can say, you know, I've always been fascinated by your process and how you like model things. It's like, it's so intricate, but also it's just really cool to kind of see you work. Um, what advice would you kind of give to like anyone that wants to get into 3D? Like, what are some mistakes that you wish, yeah, some things that you wish you heard when you were starting out? Um, don't be too hard on yourself. <laughs> That's the biggest one is do not be too hard on yourself if something does not work. Uh, um, start simple at first. There's no problem with starting simple. Um, but my main advice for anybody starting 3D modeling out there is also start physically in your hands with clay. Um, the best way to be able to learn how to 3D model material within a, a virtual space is to be able to understand how clay moves in general, um, because a lot of it's the same uh, process. So go ahead, go to the store, get yourself some Sculpey clay, and just go at it. Just start figuring out shapes and stuff like that. That's how I learned. I, I my like my figures. I literally started 100% by using monster clay which is like a wax base like a well basically just a waxy base clay 
um, like an oil clay. You don't bake it or anything like that. It's just for sculpting. But that's how I learned, and I uh, and I learned uh, the geometry and joints and stuff like that from like my trigonometry class, and then also like using um, sort of molds to make a circular joint, so I can understand how joints would move. You know, it was a lot of I learned how to do that basically in, in a physical world before I started doing it virtually. Definitely. Uh, it, it's like, it is a lot, even for myself learning right now, it is a process to kind of understand, you know? Also, yeah. uh, Ruiz dropped their lore in the Discord. Oh, okay, yeah. We will definitely, I'm definitely gonna take a, uh, take a look at it when I get the chance. Yeah, same. Let's see if I can get We have to make it like a new channel for like people's stories, little lores, you know? Yeah, we'll figure something out. Yeah. We're still early in the early days of, uh, you know, refining the Discord, so bear with us, folks. Thank you for those mm -hmm. who are joining. Uh, Dizzy Zed said, is Discord for the stream or Jurassic Park content? It's not so much for uh, Jurassic Park content. It's for more so the stream and the spirit of the stream. We wanted this to be a space, a safe space for people to start uh, to collaborate with each other, to ask each other advice, to be exposed to, you know, a positive uh, working environment for creature design and character design in general. Jurassic Core is just kind of a vehicle for where me and Justin wanted to practice our skills but also shared knowledge that we've uh, you know accumulated over our years you know and that we're still having you know it's a way for us to kind of be involved in the artistic community but also give community and space to you know people who are either just starting out who are experienced you know just to kind of meet and greet make friends and you know talk about your cool creatures your cool characters your worlds mm-hmm it's just basically a place to be able to network and, and feel like you could be a little bit more you. Because when we grew up, there wasn't a lot of that, especially before social media turned out to be more prominent. So um, we kind of wanted to be able to sort of, uh, it's a way to ensure younger artists out there that like you're not alone. There are people of the same interests and um, they and they want to they do want to see your work. And sometimes that, that helps instill a little bit of more motivation um, for you to be able to continue doing what you like to do. Oh, cool. Oh, those are really cool. Uh, good job, Ruiz. I love these. The Ultima source looks good. Your comp Stegnathus looks pretty snazzy. Good colors. Uh, Velociraptor X looking nice. Tyrannops looking fierce. Paradynonicus looking great. These are good. Keep it up. Nutanaconda also looks really good, too. I like the color pattern. It's very Those accurate. Colors though. Those colors though. I know. They're really good. Okay, I think I got. Um, let me see a couple more things. I think I'm. I have arrived at my Ultima Sword iterations. Love it. Want to give them a see? Oh uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Where are you? Yeah. Yes, I like them. Wait, are we going with the two heads? Yeah, we're going with the two heads. Oh my god. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's too cool. Oh my god. I'm cracking up. We can't make we can't make a one in the actual figure with two heads. We but can't? Definitely keep going because it looks cool. The what? We can't? No, it's supposed it's it's supposed to be kind of stemmed of the original. That's kinda of, otherwise you're 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 combining too many things. That's kind of the point of retro revival. It's the same point of the figure. It's the same figure as but it's a little bit it's just been brought up to date. It's given a breath of fresh air to be able to oh, okay. the world. Otherwise 
Otherwise, it's no longer. Otherwise, now you just you basically just stepped into a different show. Okay, this is true. So I guess my backup one will be. But I mean, like you still, still, if you're still, if you still like it, don't totally just make it into a render. That's, you know, a, that's like, okay. I think I know what we could do. We could. This easily works. All I gotta do is remove a head and a set of arms. <laughs> like here, here. You're I, not gonna, don't pull the red queen on it. Uh, you know, too late. Watch, easy. Here, here. This actually works. This actually works. This. Hold on. This actually works. So. I'm crying. So I'm gonna pick my favorite. Keep, keep in mind. I mean, that's why I said like, don't, don't. You don't have to chat because keep in mind, we still gotta do a, a final render because we're combining like both of ours into like one beautiful thing. This you is, know. This is true. This is true. Okay, I'm gonna render mine. I'm, I'm still gonna render. Ren yeah. Don't, don't just red, don't red queen it just yet. <laughs> This is fair. This is fair. Okay. Oh my so gosh. I'm going to get into. Savage. I know. What, quite a savage creature. Uh, I'm going to do my little check mark. So I'm going to pretty much pick my favorites. I like this one. Uh, this one I, I do like. I like the long claw. I like the horns on this one. And who else? Who else is looking pretty good? Hmm. I like the pose of this one. I like the horns of this one. And this one is looking pretty pretty rad too. I, um... Oh, Raul's here. Welcome, Raul. Yes, we are. Both of us are yes. drawing today. And uh, we are doing the season finale. We are doing the Ultimasaurus. We spent the first half of the session uh, pretty much iterating. Uh, iter iterating designs. And then now we're just kind of moving into a kind of, uh, you know, the whole hour session. You know, this is a three-part series. We're going to be actually turning this into an actual model and an actual collaborative figure between me and Justin. Mm-hmm. Oh, thanks. So right now, basically, what we're doing is we're working on both of our separate, uh, our set, our separate kind of concepts, and then um, Art is going to be able to combine them together into like, to some, uh, nice, to some a, a beautiful amalgamation of just, of monster. Yeah, exactly. This again is actually becoming my favorite one out of all the ones we've done so far. Because it's just so hardcore. That's what it is. It's just the ultimate metal dinosaur. It is so Chad metal dinosaur. It, it is. It is so. It is so metal. Um, okay. Okay. I think. Let me think. That was good. That was good. I. Hmm, out of three. I'd Are like you telling me your idea about how the how the face is red, the coloring and stuff. Oh like yes, that? I did not. So my idea is like um, the face tissue is actually normally like kind of a cooler tone. The reason why it looks red is it actually flushes blood to the face and that lights up patterns in like a threat display. So I was kind of, you know, wanting to play with that. It would be kind of cool. But um, yeah, we'll get into that right now. Uh, I got my little silhouettes, so I'm going to start separating them and making my little block of sore. So I'm going to make this layer a copy. Turn that off. And then I'm going to start just removing my the ones I like the most so I can get the combined figure. We're glad that you're here too, Roll. We're glad that everyone's here. Okay. Ooh, I like the changes you made. Good job. Thank you. I'm trying. No, you're doing good. Remember, trust the process. You got this. I believe in you. Okay. And after this last cut, I'm going to step away for a quick second to get myself a drink. Ooh, what are we drinking? A cocktail. I'm just kidding. I wish. I, I really wish. Um, I could go for a nice shandy right now. But alas, there's none in sight. Uh, but oh. <laughs> an older, uh, Arnold Palmer will do. Let me do this. Okay, cool. Got these. Let me just combine them here. There we go. Expand, expand. Cool. I know that looks like a mass of heads. I'm kind of a Lovecraftian creature. Don't worry. It's going to look like something. I just got to pick a base one. 
as my model. I think this one has the best, strongest silhouette, and I'm going to use this as my base. Oh, Rui says, um, that sounds great, but if it were still Halloween, I would make it so they would attack each other and tear each other's skin off, and that's actually the same blood. That's actually very similar to what you uh, said before, Justin, right? That's very RL. Uh... Yeah, so the the the... Original, so my idea of why it would it would be red was uh, I like RJ's better, but my idea was red is that um, it uh all the people that basically it kills it just stains its face and its uh and its feet red, so it's kind of like just a simple thing. But like RJ's a little bit more dynamic, so I like that a little bit more. I like your idea though, uh, Ruiz. It's very um uh, R.L. Stein's The Haunting Hour. Have you seen Ooh. that movie with the one the monster with the two heads? I they remember each other. Oh my god, that's what I was thinking about the whole time, but I did not remember what it was called. That's what it was called, The Haunting Hour. Wow. Yeah. I actually made a replica of the book. I like, I have a replica of the book. That's super cool. Because I thought it was. I love I love scary. I like scary books like oh. uh, Eldritch Lovecraftian books. Uh, there's, fine, just, there's just something cool about them. Fun fact, fine folks. If you do not know, Justin Gutt, his fine start is actually doing special effects, and he is quite, quite the costume designer and prop maker, extraordinaire. That's right. We still have to discuss your thing that you're working on, right? We'll do that later. Oh, which one? What was it? Oh, the uh, the outfit. Yeah, like a cyberpunk costume. Oh, or something the, like yes, that? that's for that's for later. That's going to be something that we're working on for that festival out in the desert. <laughs> but anyway, I'll be right back. Yeah, I'm guys, just going to get myself a drink and head to the restroom. So I'll be back probably like in a little bit. So I'm going to leave this one as the model. But the floor is yours, good sir. Oh my goodness, it's terrifying. But yes, as RJ was saying, that is actually my background. My background did start off in a, so I started in high schooling special effects. And um, you actually may see me in a, if you, um, if any of you watch these Stan Winston school videos, um, there is a video, there is a, a course, which is how to make a creature suit or a foam fabrication suit with uh, Ted, uh, Ted Haynes and Bill Bryan. And um, I'm actually in that one. I'm on the, um, the team on the foam fabrication team. So, uh, be able to see me there with my uh, signature baseball cap that I usually wear because I tend to always wear a baseball cap. It's just kind of my thing. I don't know what it is. I just like it. They're just comfortable security. I love it. But uh, I'm a big fan of uh, special effects and animatronics. RJ and I are actually currently working on a Jurassic World short film that uh, working on uh, planning a few animatronics and puppets for that too because why not? Super fun. But uh, yeah, I love special effects. Let me animatronics and practical effects. That's where I actually got started on uh, what I do. Like, um, actually, uh, way back in the nineties, my my origin story, my or creative origin story was um, I used to watch Jurassic Park on VHS like twenty four seven. I watched it so much that the tape actually got ruined and I had to throw it away. And this was I think in ninety eight. Um, and so I would watch the bonus features, uh, because it was like a special collection version or a special edition. So it was like a double, it gave you like two tapes. It gave you like the, the bonus features and the uh, the movie, the feature film. And so I just watched the special, the, the bonus features, like to kind of get, get my Jurassic Park fix, <laughs> which is so weird and funny at the same time. But then I just saw the magic that um, uh, Legacy Effects, well then called Stan Winston Studios, but Legacy Effects uh, now had um, put into making the animatronics for Jurassic Park and The Lost World. And my mind was just blown. I started like, putting together i started like i would draw a, p a dinosaur on a piece of paper and then like draw the same one other piece of paper and i would tape them together and like stuff it with paper so it was like a 3d dinosaur i guess that was i guess you could say that was like the start of the figures like in the very beginning like way back in the 90s it's a journey like tw over 20 years in the making but uh that's how i used to start making a dinosaur dinosaur figures and dinosaur toys and then later on i like leveled up to like sculpey clay and i would just like sculpt a lot and then i'll use like foam fabrication and start making things like that and as soon as it just evolved and then I started working with ZBrush and now I'm just like manifesting everything into real life which is that's the journey that's the my villain origin story <laughs> but that's the that's how it begins you know it's kind of a little little uh little fun thing for all of you out there I have returned. 
Sweet. We were just talking about you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this is true. I am quite the topic. <laughs> very, very much. You are a, uh, you are the topic, oh, sir. Oh, no, stop. So what sounds amazing? The, um, what happened? Oh, I was just talking about the, the you know, um, the story that told you, like, how I got started in, uh, uh, dinosaurs and special effects, you know, the VHS tape. Oh, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, uh, Rui says, Actually, I've always wanted to make a movie in between The Lost World and JP3 about poachers on Sona. That'd be kind of cool. The very Trespasser core. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Sorna, Sorna does, okay, let's just be honest. Sorna does not get enough love. No, it, it does is not. not. It is not. I told them. I told them a little bit that we're working on a, a little short film together that does have the that that that's had us as special effects and stuff like that. So, but I, I didn't tell them what it was about. Just that there was a project in the mix. Hmm, it's gonna be good. But uh, yeah, super fun. But uh, yes, you know what? Ag agreed. Sorna does not get enough love. This is true. Sorna deserves better. Sorna deserves so much better. Like what? The actual <laughs> flapjacks. Sorry, I almost lost myself there, guys. He's very serious about this. I am. I'm very passionate about Sorna. I love Sorna. Did you just hear the drums intensify? Dun, 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 dun. Yes. Dun, 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 dun. It's funny because I like I like the one thing that we do is like. Is like when we get Jurassic Park, you have this idea, this painted idea of, a, of an established <laughs> civilization, you know, like not civilization, but you know, there's there's infrastructure there, you know, and then, yeah. but, but for Sorna, the first time we see Sorna, it's just ruins, you know. We never had the idea. We have the ghosts, basically, of what it probably felt like and it, you know, what it did before, but you never actually have an idea. It's just always been wild as far as from what yes. we've seen, you know. Okay, so I let me think. This is what I like about this guy is his legs and this head right here. You know, yeah, it should have been the final. That's what I thought too. It was gonna be the final setting for Camp Cretaceous, like, but they just it never did it. And you know, I I pretend that the rest of Camp Cretaceous doesn't exist after the Scorpius Rex season because that was the best season. After that, it just all went downhill from there, and it was just made for kids. It lost its Stranger Things vibes. Yeah, I I when when it got to like with the Scorpius Rex, it was very I liked how violent it was because that's what Jurassic Park really is. It's ultimately terrifying because it's you're ju you're being forced into this. Um, this this sort of setting that you're not supposed to be in you know normal people in abnormal settings mm -hmm. um but then like after that like it just made it way too where it was just supposed to sell like the like the, the atrociraptors like the atrociraptors were just supposed to be able to sell more raptor like figures you know this is true it was just the new uh, raptor squad okay hold on mm. Oh yeah, I love the OG's visitor center. Yes, definitely. You know what? I want fun facts. If any true Jurassic Park fan knows this, the uh, you know when the Rex comes and like puts its hand top bowl, you know when it uh in the old uh, visitor in Camp Cretaceous. Um, if you from the very very first movie, the skull actually crashes. I, I love this because I. I Memorize the future details. The skull is actually up on the second floor. Because when the T-Rex throws the Vosraptor into the T-Rex skeleton, mm -hmm. the skull gets whacked off and it's actually sitting on on second floor balcony. Oh so wow! So it's not actually on the it's not on the floor. It's not down there. So it's that's a, it's a little a uh, little trivia for you guys, you know. Nice. Also, just a heads up. You kind of like majority yeah. of that got caught. I, think RJ. I know. I, yeah. The majority of that was there, but you were pretty. You were glitching pretty hardcore. Ah, uh, that's, that's, yeah, well, then, that's fine. That's okay, I guess. Probably wasn't important anyway. No, no, you, you had it, though. Like, I think people got the majority of it. <laughs> Let me see. Okay, let me get this. Yes. Nope, no, 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 no. There we go, there we go.
there's always an interesting kind of balance, you know, of like what is over designed and what is under designed, you know? Yeah, definitely. Hear me out. I like season one, the second best, especially with the bioluminescent Paris or all offices. That's what Rogi says. Oh, yeah. That was, that was an interesting, that was an interesting touch. Okay, there. Okay, there we go. There we go. No, come on. He needs to be skinnier. He's not skinny enough. Let me bring these in a little more. I think we got him. Oh, uh, Rui says, what do you think about doing TMNT stuff? Is that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Yep. Uh, that, I mean, um, we never discussed it because it doesn't really fit into the Jurassic uh, Core vibe. Jurassic Core is kind of like, like 90s movie monsters, kind of things like, kind of like a... Things that ha have the spirit of Jurassic Park. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle probably doesn't really fall into that category, but that'd probably be something that would be done like on a separate type of um, a separate type of stream and not necessarily Jurassic Core and chill. Yeah. But we're not, you know, if you ever want to, Justin, we can always, you know, have another stream sesh, uh, you know, when our schedules free up to have a, a separate one to do other things, you know. Yeah, because guys, we do do other things too. Like we, we we do do a lot of things. Like I know I'm 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 working on like a whole I'm working on like realistic Minecraft looking ones, and RJ has a, a whole. Way. Make sure. Oh, by the way, if if you guys don't check in already, make sure you guys check in into RJ's streams uh, on Sundays. They are super super fun, and he goes over a lot of cool world building stuff that stretches beyond like beyond Jurassic World. Like it's a whole new level. So definitely make sure you guys check that out. And they're normally at six o'clock, right? Yeah, six o'clock. Uh except it won't be this so coming check this out. It won't be this coming Sunday as I have something uh to attend to. A good friend of mine is having their final art show as they're graduating. Ooh, so okay. I'm gonna go support yes. them. But definitely the following Sunday, you know, I will I always make posts, so just keep an eye out on my Instagram. You can find me at RJ Nieto Illustrated. Uh, and you can also find Justin at Jurassic Justin. You know, we are two together. We like to joke around and call ourselves the in gentlemen. The in gentlemen, yes. Okay, I think. Do all the things. Screw reality. <laughs> we will draw everything. Okay, I think I got this guy. I think I'm just bringing him to bear. Yeah. Let me just do some minor mm -hmm. warps. Because I feel like he lost a little bit of his lifiness. It's a smidge. He's still hefty. He's still powerful, but I want him to have a little bit of that. Just a little bit. There we go. There we go. Okay, cool. I'm going to go back. As a wise man named Bill once said, reality is an illusion. The universe is a hologram. Buy gold, goodbye. Did you just give me a Gravity Falls reference? Is that that cartoon on Disney Channel? It is a cartoon that was on Disney Channel. It's gone. It is long since over. That was? Okay, it's not... Oh, dang, okay. Isn't that like that Adventure Time show? Okay. Isn't that on Disney Channel too, or no? You know, Adventure Time is Cartoon Network. Oh, okay. It's okay, though. Uh, 
Mm, okay. Yes, that was a Bill Cipher reference. I know. I see what you're doing, sir. Nice. Okay. I got him. That's I have my ultimate Ultimasaur. Yes. And then I'm going to start. <laughs> oh my god. That's like a Bill Cypher. That is like a by Bill Cypher kind of thing. Anyway. I think I'm going to start doing my Blockosaurus and getting this guy to a nice place. Good line work. This is my dude. I'm just going to keep him as that. This is that that's That works though. That's a good design. <laughs> my monster. I'll have to do a you right, I'm going to have to start with the Blockosaurus too to start breaking down cuz right now he's just lying. So I totally get what you mean. Mhm. Mm you know, I think what it is though. Okay, so Photoshop has not Photoshop. Uh, Procreate has like this push thing where it's like smudge, but it's a whole lot cleaner. Like I, I know I like it, and it just allows me to be able to just push things. Yeah. Or, like push things a little bit, and I and I don't have that on here, or at least I don't know the feature that does that. So it's always been like a really difficult like. There would be the warp, or sm there's a liquefy. The warp. Also... Is it liquefy? Is that what it is? Do you have, is that a... Yeah, you would go to, uh, you would go to, you go to filter and then uh, liquefy. It's also oh, shift control okay. X. Oh my gosh, so many commands. <laughs> Hold on, RJ, could you make one of them the Night Hunter color scheme head? Oh, with the, the purple and the black? Yeah, I could do that. Like for one of the heads to differentiate yep. the two. We could always do that into a secondary figure too. Yeah, that's cool. be like, like a few of the ones most smaller ones oh cool special edition yeah so like we can make two of them like we can make a you know oh we could do two we could have the standard one and make like a handful of little you know night hunter ones you yeah. know yeah we could then we could do night hunter yeah no problem that's easy no yeah. problem uh but yeah i can make one of the heads on this one the night hunter i will be uh doing that for next session though right now it's just kind of doing line hmm. work whereas we're almost to our time at 9 30 uh, the next session will be the coloring, you know, and we're going to go through the whole thing. It's the same thing to do colors, you know. Um, it's not going to just be going, you know, with our gut. I actually want to, you know, much like we did the whole entire session of just ideating on designs. I'm going to be doing ideation of uh, color palette, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fun fact, these Ultima Sauras can also act as a canon thing. They were all the different prototypes before they came to the ultimate, ultimate one. It's true. It's very true. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to get started on my Blockosaurus. So my Blockosaurus pretty much are just that. They are a building block version of the creature I'm trying to do. Nothing committed, nothing crazy, just trying to understand the relationships between their anatomy, right? Yes. And that's the thing. Anatomy takes practice, and it's constant practice. It's a lot of moving parts. No, oh, Ruiz pro posts the prototypes he has on the Discord. Oh, oh okay. No. Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha.
Oh, you're back. I gotta check. Uh, no worries. I shall hold the fort. Okay. <laughs> I literally spare of no expense. I could imagine that's probably not an easy come by to get those legendary figures. Okay, so I'm gonna make some space for the heads. So that means each one gets a quadrant of this section right here. And then the arms will be adjacent here. And the other arms, that's gonna be this pair of arms, the other arms will be here. So there's gonna be a selection going this way. So that means there. Actually, so there, there we go. That makes more sense. Lower. There we go. Okay. So this head will go up this way. Well, I wouldn't know exactly anymore. I just I haven't had an action figure in a long time. But hey, that's still pretty rad though that you got them. It's been a long minute. Okay, so I'm gonna pay attention to the relationship I had between these two. Now, now this seems a little confusing, but I'm just kind of going over this. Then I'll go over it one more time and then one more time. Because I'm just trying to get a sense of the anatomy. And the building blocks. The Night Hunter one is a mock up from the one for 99, so it doesn't need to move. So it's like, that's pretty sick, though. You got like this kind of rare version. <laughs> no worries. Also, Justin, have you returned to us? Oh, I mean, oh, uh, uh... hmm? Uh, oh, you sorry. I, did, I was like, I thought I muted my mic. <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't. We didn't hear you. <laughs> we just, I just saw you drawing. Oh, yeah, so sorry. I was like, oh, it's a... oh yeah. I... It's the, the drawing ghost of Justin. The drawing ghost. Oh my gosh, don't don't even joke. I would hate to have a ghost in my apartment. I can't move because of a ghost. But what are you saying if you were the ghost? Oh gosh, what a what an existential crisis that would be. Mm. Uh, you have uh, you have the ghost of dinosaurs past. Can you imagine? Uh, that'd be terrifying. Um. Hold on, I think I may be misreading something here. It's always good to rely on references to... Nope, I'm not so much misreading something. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. 
So that's what I'm going to do. So the head's going to come in like this. And this is one of the keratin. Ghostbusters. Who are you gonna call? We there's a lot of cool creature design. We could draw like Zool if you ever wanted to. Which one was Zool? The one that looked like a, a demon dino dog. Oh, the, the 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 yeah the the from the yeah I know what you're talking about. Fun fact: that's actually an, a dinosaur named after Zool now. I mean, are you surprised? No, it's an ankylosaur, which makes sense. It looks, it looks like. <laughs> yes, it does. Okay, so I'm gonna fix a little bit of this guy. He's kind of. There's no Stringosaurus, there's only Zool. Yes. Let me see. Okay. Getting that in. That raptor has. Kind of weird. Okay. Did I have. Yeah, I did. I did. Yeah. But they were more like this. See, I'm trying to preserve a little bit that sketch I did in the original. In this, in, even if I'm going into this kind of more refined states, I, I like some aspects of that too. I don't want to lose some of that energy. But again, I'm getting a little too carried away, even with this one. So I kind of want to make sure that what I do is just still my block of sore. I still just want to lay out the shapes. And like I said, a good lasso tool save you so much time. Copy, paste in place, edit, transform, flip horizontal. And So much easier than having to redraw everything. Because they basically have the same head shape. All I gotta do is modify this one and we'll be on target. There we go. Oh, Acro is heading off. Good night. Thank you for joining us. Yes, thank you for joining us. It's always cool to have people. Okay, let me just get this guy going, and your head is going to be like right here. Cool. Just making sure there is consistency there. Fix this one. Fix the horns on this one.
See, that's what I was mistaking. Find these two. Because I want to make sure that this guy stays consistent. Hmm. Ruiz also posted some paleo art in the thing, the Discord. Oh, sick. Sick collection. There's everything looking rad. And nice. You know, there's a nice Dustpletosaurus. Nice Alliuramus. Ooh, those are good looking Dimetrodons. Hey, you got a Golden Toad. And the Synonychosaurus, that's really good. It's really good. Got good attention to anatomy. And good shading, too. Were these from reference? Oh, I have not seen yet. Let's see. Yeah, they're getting. Uh, kids got talent. Oh, yes. Yes, come on. The golden toad. It's a real mood right there, though. Yeah, I, you know, sometimes I'm, I feel like a golden toad. You know what? We're all golden toads. Yeah, I can live with that. Um. Okay. Mm, okay. There we go. Nice, nice. Okay, sick. Yeah, the last picture of a golden toad. My favorite recently extinct animal is the kawaii o o bird. O o bird, where also a good contender is the huya from New Zealand. It makes me sad all the time. Is that the one that, is that, the one that did the singing for Yeah, that there's... makes me always so sad. <laughs> I'm like, no. Oh. Oh. That's like up there with Lonesome George. The tortoise? Uh, yeah. Yes. Poor, poor, poor baby. Okay, hold on. I mean, in reality, species just do go extinct. You know, it's this is true. You know, through man-made man or through like putting on their way out, it's you know naturally on their way out. There, there, every species goes extinct at some point. Yep. With the exception of sharks, sharks are just the giga chads of evolution. They are. They are eternal. Okay, I think I'm kind of. If we're coming up on the time, like when we're probably going to stop, I'm probably, I think I'm going <laughs> to, I think this is going to, I'm going to call it on this, because otherwise I'm just going to, I'm not really, because I'm like so uncomfortable right now, hunching over my Wacom tablet and just starting to borderline not have a good time. <laughs> no worries, no worries. I think we can call it right now. I'm just going to lay in a little more and then we'll have enough ready and I can do a more proper lineup. Like, we also want to, you know, so for the next session, you know, before we get into color, we can, you know, we got like another three hour session. We can dedicate this to kind of catching up and finishing, you know? Yeah. Because I just got to, because I just got to do this. Okay, we're almost there, buddy. I promise you.
Okay, almost there. Just adding in last little details of things, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm not even going to be able to post this because I messed it up halfway like through. So, like, I don't know how to make the background art, like, I guess I kind of probably merged it on like a low opacity, so now it's like just super dark in general, but that's that's okay. It was just a sketch. No worries. I'm just going to post my progress. Yeah. Like I said, there's no high stakes here other than, you know, doing what we're doing. I can't wait to see the model that we come up with, you know? Yes. <laughs> Just gotta trust the process. Whatever it is, it's gonna be epic. Yeah. It's gonna come out pretty rad. Let me just get the little teeth in here. He said they posted some Triceratops Horridus art and some comic art. Cool. That's cool. Isn't that cool, man? We're getting people to like, you know, actually engage with us. Yes, I gotta start um putting more uh I gotta start organizing more of the channels and the categories and stuff like that. Hey, but we're on our way. Okay, I think this is a good place mm -hmm. to start as a stop for me. Um let me just erase some kind of unnecessary details. You know, things that don't... Oh, maybe if I just turn the background, <laughs> that helps me just a little bit. Actually, she's looking really good. See? These aren't bad. These aren't bad. They're pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good, sir. Pretty good. Yeah, actually, you know what? That's a good place to stop. You know, yours is more, you know, finished than mine. But this is, again, just my block of sore. I'll be... Next session, when we come back, I'll be doing a refined sketch over this. You know? I, mean, I love your block of storm, man. It looks great. I, you know, I try. <laughs> let me, uh, hold on. Let me just quickly, rapidly put his little toe claws in. You know, yes, yes. I'm not gonna lie, Justin, you had a big, profound impact on my artwork when I met you. You know what? So did you, my guy. You got me inspired to start just really going for drawing. I really did. Yeah, really, for, for real. Because actually, I need, I need to do that. And I was like, you know what? Archie does it, and like beautifully. I should just I just gotta let it go and uh let go of the stress. Just do it. Just let go. Let it go. Oh wait, we can't say that because if we post on YouTube, YouTube will like kill us. Be like we det we detect us. We we detect. <laughs> the detect. T the T one thousand is gonna like the T one hundred is gonna come for us. Exactly. The the T one million is gonna come for us if anyone knows. Yes. I love that. That was my favorite one. That looked so cool. I went to the last show too. Really? Oh my goodness! I was there at the last show. My good friend Ryan Morgan wanted me to. He's like, dude, we got tickets. We gotta go. Because his sister I was mean, like, I got, to, I got to work out what happened afterwards. Oh wow, <laughs> it's funny. We could have been there at the same time, for all we know. Yeah. Oh my. Well, I meant like I. I mean, oh, we mean like if you just visit Universal in general. Yeah. I probably did. I probably was there. If you probably visit any theme park, I was probably there. Let me see. Let me yeah. see. Let me get that last little bit right here. Nice. Okay, cool. I think we got him. Uh, what do you? Th oh my God, yours looks really good. Again, the keys. I think little we're bit? pretty good. Oh, where? It's just oh, so good, dude. I love the I posing. I like yours. Yours is so good. Our our angry boys. The gig is so angry. Hybrid. <laughs> They're so angry. They're so spiky, and I love them. Oh my God, I can't. I can't even deal with these little. I love the tail, by the way. The tail on yours absolutely fantastic yeah there's just something about the way it, like it turns from like ankylosaur to like a little bit of like the uh the phagomizer in there the way it yes bleeds. yes yeah. yes i'm also going to add a little bit of my stegosaur quills from the you know there we go but anyway yes mm -hmm. um you know i might not keep this little hornlet right now actually no i might reduce it ever so slightly mm -hmm. actually there we go. Okay, close, close enough. You can always include it as like a growth spur. You know what I mean? Like it, if they grow, if 
go out kind of like and they just continuously because remember it's not like it's uh they don't have like a max growth they just keep going and growing oh, and growing I just so it's probably like i found a nice compromise you know Ooh, okay there we go there we I go. I love, okay, so my favorite part about yours, though, is I love the extended Velociraptor type of, like, skull. Yeah. You know, there's something really interesting about that. So, you're, like, sawtoothy, but at the same time, it's, like, you I know had... that there's probably, like, Triceratops teeth in the back. Yes, I had it. Well, I was, like, thinking about, like, Triceratops, like, face length, because they have long faces. And then I made its dew claw oh, wow. the raptor claw, and I gave it more tyrannosaurus wearing kind of feet, and I gave it... <laughs> yeah. But anyway, there you have it, folks. Uh, yes, there you have it. I like the hornlet because it looks like a genetic experiment. Yes, cool, cool, cool. Well, anyway, there you have it, folks. We have part one of our final boss session of tackling on the Chaos Effect Ultimasaurus. Um, we'll be coming back next week, uh, same time, to start you know, uh, refining what we got here and starting coloration. And then by session three, we we'll on to modeling, right? Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Well, thank you folks for joining us. We hope you had a good time. If you made drawings with us, please tag us on Instagram. We are more than happy to repost. Uh, but yeah, anything you want to say, Justin, before we sign out? Definitely after this, make sure you probably go get yourself a snack, drink plenty of water, and then go ahead and get to sleep. No staying up late. Go yes, to sleep. Yes, like get some rest. Anyway. You need to recharge after this because you did exert a lot of creative energy, and so you're going to have to re yourself so just make sure you are taking care of yourselves after the stream throughout the week and just try to have and have a good week on purpose yeah exactly well, anyway folks we'll see you next time have a great uh day evening time wherever you are in the world and we'll see you back on the jurassic core